Welcome to Street Fighter 6 Friday. On today's episode of Street Fighter 6 Friday, we will be playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and not Street Fighter 6 on Street Fighter 6 Friday. Thank you for joining me on this fine, illustrious day, and welcome to the stream. Hello! We're just gonna do a cold open, because... A new update is available. Now, I really just wanted to show you me updating the game because nothing is more exciting than waiting for 60 whole seconds while you watch a little bar fill up green from the left to the right. Except what I just did was inverted. So for you, it's from the left to the right which is really weird because I'm finally beginning to learn my lefts and rights at the age of 23. And now I've just ruined all the progress I just made with that. So that's wonderful. Let's play the game. But yes, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, today may be a day of dungeon. Today may be the first time I experience what a Tears of the Kingdom dungeon is. I don't know if this will happen for sure or not, but we got a long stream today and we got loud in my headphones today. So why not? I don't know what this autosave is. I didn't really play the game. I think I booted it up and tried to start playing, but then didn't do anything. So we'll just boot it from here because this is where we last saved. Uh, we do have eight orb, so we could get a heart and a stamina wheel, or two stamina wheel, or two heart. Uh, I'm not sure yet. But all I do know is that that's Dinral, and I need his... I need his. It's gonna be a shit photo, but it's better than not having a photo. That has been the motto of my Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wilding. Where, if there is ever an instance of a photo that needs to be taken. It's better to have something over nothing. Oh, I, I gotta go pay him a visit. I don't want him to say goodbye. Um, But yeah, we're probably gonna be doing the... Rito dungeon today. If I had to guess. Do I have a shield? I do have a shield that's like... shieldable shield. Uh... Could probably use the double shield for for shield surfing. Do you think I would get like double the shield surf action? Uh, that dragon is not in a position. Where is it going? Is it like going underground? Is it going into the fucking hole? Fuck this bird. Uh, it looks like it might be. Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, he's sinking. Normally, they they just kind of fly around and exist in places. I'm not sure if I can make it to him. You know what? Here's what I can do. Because he's like there with this autosave, right? Or maybe, hang on, how far back is this? This is a few minutes back. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking popping a speed potion and like booking it for him. Cause I didn't really stand around too much with this. You know what? We'll, we'll load up this one. The problem is he's not guaranteed to spawn if he hasn't already uh, by this point. But it's better than nothing. Uh, but yes, of course, before we get to any dungeons or anything like that. I'm not just going to immediately run over there. Because uh, I do like to do the exploring in between. I feel like in Breath of the Wild, running to the next dungeon, that's not how you go up. Running immediately, like straight to the dungeons or straight to any objective is like playing an RPG and not grinding. Or, like, not fighting anything along the way, and then you have to do a shit ton of grinding when you get there. Except you don't have to really do that in these games, but that's what it feels like to me. 
to, to, to exist here. And you know what? It's not raining as well, so we can actually talk to Picongo and see what the fuck he was on about. What do we got? We got a speed up two? We'll, we'll do standard speed up one first. Talk to Picongo before it begins to rain. This is interesting. Nice photo. He's gotten a little better since we last saw him. This gets more fascinating the more I look at it. It seems that shape holds some special meaning. What, the one up there in the sky? Yeah, because that's that's one of the like star-shaped ones, I think. Hmm? Oh, I was so engrossed in my work that I didn't realize I had a fellow traveler to converse with. In case you couldn't tell, I'm a painter. I travel the world in, in search of beautiful sights. Does he not remember me? Or do I not have save data where I went for the memories? Hmm. These mysterious floating islands are only the most recent to catch my eye. I was just painting that small island there, as a matter of fact. Ah. Granted, you can't see it very well when the clouds are in the way. Ah. Ever since the upheaval, the sky has been filled with floating islands. But none have caught my fancy so much as that exquisitely shaped one there. I can't quite explain it, but it feels though it's speaking to me somehow. Hmm. Why are the floating islands up there? It can't hurt to take a little time out of your day to stop and think about it. Oh, there's a great ah. fairy over there. The little island, the more I look at it, the more its shape intrigues me. Ah. Huh. Hmm. But all right, that has been pinned now. I'll go to the Great Fairy in a moment. Wait, we have to see if Dinral spawns. Because I need his photo. It doesn't seem that he has spawned yet. That's a bit unfortunate. Will he spawn? I don't know. It was like already raining. When they did that. I suppose I can scroll my way measly over there. Bird, 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 bird up! I didn't count. It was like center frame, but the the camera didn't give me the thing that verified that it recognized it. Will Gabe ever learn to not use so many arrows? No. Weird. How weird. That, that was so fucking weird, bro. 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 Bro, that was so weird. Uh. Let's see. How about flame emitter club? Uh oh, it's got a charge. Uh, how do you actually use a Zonai charge? I've actually yet to do that. Um, I assume you just like find it in here, right? Use, okay. Um, hang on. Here we go, here we go. Alright, that's fine. And you, sir, get the barrel. The barrel! The bagel! Don't you dare. Yeah, let's do something about it. I don't get his drops, though. <laughs> Which is a bit unfortunate, but I'll take it. Alright, fuck you. I do have photos of this, right? Oh, I don't actually have- I know I collected this, but I don't have a photo of it. Yeah, let's get it with the, like, shitty bones and the melon in the shot, actually. Uh, what's a good, good angle? 
We're like, yeah. Yeah. Blue Moblin Horn. Oh, and sturdy long stick. I don't have a photo of this. Nah, I do. And the rain starts and out comes Dinral. Perfect. Just, just the what I needed. And there's a shrine nearby somewhat. Alright, so now... The, the speed thing's just about up. 20 seconds left. We'll do double speed. Post haste. Big meat. No upright meat, but it's big meat nonetheless. Alright. I don't know if, um... Did the dragons always spawn at, like, noon or something? I think that was a thing in Breath of the Wild, where it's like, if you're in certain spots at certain times, you can, like, guarantee a dragon spawn. Because, like, they seem, like, random, but there's actually a way to manipulate their spawning or some shit. I'm assuming... For the most part, if a mechanic is in both games, I'm going to assume they function identically until the game tells me otherwise. And I, unfortunately, not being able to horse whistle run means I have to, like, you know, take advantage of the actual speed potions and stuff and play the game, like, somewhat normally. Keyword somewhat. You don't have to go all the way. You don't have to go bigger boss. Go bigger, go boss. Doesn't matter. What does matter is that Dinral should get here by the time it turns sunny again. Oh, hey. Is there an island above me? Oh, that's another one of those star shaped ones. I'm assuming there's going to be like an item of some sort that allows me to read those stab uh, stone tablets. Yeah, who's going in there? So there is a thing here. Unfortunately, Inra is not here yet. Also, I figured out which food item it was. Uh, I, the one thing I did do was look through. Uh, do I have any? Um, I, I, um... Here we go. This was the thing. Health depleted by gloom restores it. So this last time I was like, what the fuck item allows me to heal gloom? It's this. That heals 12 gloom hearts. So, that's good to have. Take out another one. And then... Just do like two and a steak. And that gives six gloom hearts, so that's good for me right now. One and a steak. Oh wait, right there. And then... Wait, oh it didn't actually spawn it yet. Well, you see what I can do now. Now I can heal. The gloom effects. If it gets a little... Cursed posting in here. So Dinral's gonna make his way down... Into this hole. My roommate told me about... The dragons doing this. But I had yet to see this for myself. Let's get him while he's like pointing down. The rain doesn't make for the best photo, but it's a good photo. For the most part. The rain should clear by the time he gets here. At 3.30 or is it at 4 p.m.? Will the rain stop? Four. Slowly but steadily, he makes his way this way. Uh, 
I don't have a shrine nearby, so I don't know if I will jump down this hole just yet, but I might. Here he comes! Point down. Yeah, the rain's clearing. Now that's a photo. Don't they, like, give wind? Oh, I'm going to die. Oh no, he's gonna get crushed! There it goes. So, horns are good for weapons, I know. Is it still gonna go down the hole? Oh shit. It's regular S scale. I know there's claws as well. This is probably good for shields though. Dinral's scale. This precious scale contains a massive amount of heat. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. Am I on fire because of Dinral right now or the scale? Uh, 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 Dinral. <laughs> um. I don't. Uh, do I have fireproof lizards? I may have. What the fuck was that noise? Um. Hopefully I can cook. He doesn't count, like, as an enemy, right? What do I have equipped? Okay, we're, we're fine on, on weapons. I just... Oh, uh, the bow's not good, but... Um... <laughs> Let's see. Do you contain... No, that's not a fire lizard. Uh... I, I do have some fireproof lizards. Do two. And a guts. Flame guard, eight minutes. Good thing I, you know, made my way over to Death Mountain early. What? I have the, oh, it's like, oh, it's double. It's double flame. Isn't it? Or maybe even triple flame. Well, hopefully this is enough. If not, we will have to abandon following him down this hole. Fuck, slap some toenails in there. Yeah. That's still just one tier of flame guard, though. Oh, wait. Now I'm fine, right? Or no? No, I'm not. <laughs> look at, look at his face. But no pupil. <laughs> Can you get multiple scales from them? No. Well, I will be curious to see what's down that hole. I will also like to check out the shrine that's nearby. But since I'm in the area... I might as well. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Are you gonna flashbang me? Uh. Stay away from me, fucker. You son of a bitch! You have more range. Than I thought you should. Hmm. Hmm. Don't make me eat my goddamn appies. Uh, keep this organized. Ah. Uh, perfect. All right. Huh? 
That works. Is this, uh... What is this? Shock emitter. Well, that's a new one. I suppose it's not just flames in that case. What is on here? Light shield. Actually, that could be good for exploring the depths. Now I think about it. You literally have a flashlight. Uh... Ooh, attack up plus four? This one also has an attack up plus five on it. So if I combine long, sturdy stick... ...with... ...with, uh... Wait. Um... Yeah. Cool. We'll take this too. I don't need the long. I don't need that other stick. But yeah, we got Zonai ruins here. If I am not mistaken, this was the shrine in the base game that had all the darkness surrounding it. But now Korok Forest is the one that has the darkness, sort of. Well, it's more like the darkness that's down in the depths, really, was what was here. Is this- this is, uh, evil water, right? This doesn't work on evil water, right? Yeah. It does if it's Cryonis from Breath of the Wild, but you don't get that one this time. It's kind of cool to actually be able to see this place and not- Pure darkness. Like an absolute shithole. That's right, a shithole. In this house, we don't say the word asshole because ass is a swear word. So we say shithole. Okay? I love how I made that flame guard and uh, wasted it. This is a cork. I'm gonna kill this cork. <laughs> Concussion cork. Right. What do we got here? Cork forest area. I- I am- I have two theories on how to actually get into cork forest. Maybe even both work. But one is skydiving from, hell, maybe even just this tower. Or uh, maybe you have to approach from underneath. There's either a network cave or uh, rising from, actually, can you rise from a hole in the depths? I guess you can if you have like a hot air balloon. Where's the Hinox that was here? Did he move out? Or is he still hanging? Look at this Zonai. This looks nothing like Zonai. <laughs> now, now that now that I actually know what a Zonai looks like, and I see the Zonai ruins again, I'm like, wait, what the fuck are they depicting? These suggest they are bird, but they are not. They are goat and cat. Uh... It's just that easy to get here, huh? Well, there's that dude over there. Do I trust you? What are you doing? Just camping here? It's a bit sus. I'm gonna have to climb to the top of this. Yep, there's a thing on top. Hey, over here! Hey. Hello, my brother in research! I was waiting for you! Oh. You were? That's right! I was... I'm the one who discovered these big ruins way out here! Not you in the last game, hell no, you never did that! But I wasn't able to make much progress investigating them! Uh. I'm only one Hylian, and this, alas, is not a one Hylian job! 
That's why I wrote to the Zonai survey team, asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. Mm. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. Oh, so you built this tower that just recently uh, appeared within the last month, right? That was you? That was that was Kazu. Yeah. He did it. He discovered this place. What? You're not a Zonai survey team researcher. You're just some guy. Oh, I see. So few people come through here. I just assumed you had to be the assistant I asked for. My mistake. I assume you also didn't see the Rito that I can see from right here? Well, I haven't made any particularly notable discoveries as of yet, but uh, so I can't investigate alone until I do. Uh -huh. But I'm certain I'm on the brink of brilliance. Come back soon if you don't, uh, so you don't miss history being made. Oh, still can't read. Uh oh. No, oh, that hasn't changed, mate. We got fucking like spotlights. I guess all the towers have these though, so you know where it is. So the towers are smart. I already know what that Rito's gonna tell me. The towers are like somehow smart enough to know. Why can't I grab that? I'm like just shy. Can I grab the other one? Uh, you know what? I know what it, the game wants me to do. What are you doing? <laughs> Not that! Wait, can, actually, can I just do this? Yes. I was gonna climb up that wall, and then, like, jump onto it. Oh, fuck. Rocket? Double rocket. So wait, <laughs> can these be moved with the rockets? I wouldn't think that they could be. Oh, they do have a little bit of weight to them. Yep. That fucking works. Um. Still going up. Oh, did we stop? Oh, look, there's the Master Sword. Well, <laughs> I'm up here now. That dude is so lost. Um. I don't know if I need to take out these Zonai constructs, but I guess I will. Well, he got some rocket too. What could that have been? Weird. They all seem to have like little rockets on them. The song reminds me of Spirit Track music. music. Can't aim any lower down. Open the hatch. No. I think it would be amazing. Does it know? Or have I just fucked myself again? <laughs> oh. Came to repair the Skyview Tower, but the terminal hasn't been working. Until now, it started working again! Even without me doing anything! Uh. Huh? There was something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower! Hmm... The terminal lid on the top of the tower are connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head out. Uh. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. I'm off. Thank you. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna destroy my skull. Watch this. Grab me by the cube. Ah, oh, damn it, they despawned it. <laughs> the fuck? Damn it! Hey, theoretically, I should be able to make it across the world border chasm, right? Could make it to the... There's, there's a lot of places I could make it to with this tower, though. You could go to Cork Forest. You could go to... I think the ruins are in this area. The maze? Maybe? Oh, no. Not quite. Not quite. Um, Kind of close. There are multiple holes down in the Cork Forest here. So, I am inclined to believe underground is the way the game will want me to go. But there are also ruins, sky ruins directly above Cork Forest as well. So maybe. Oh, I know it's not Cork, by the way. But, you know, Cork ruins. Put a cork in it. Oh, that's another one of those diving games. Yeah. So I guess all the tall ones are just diving things. I mean, the diving game was fun enough, I guess. It's a little bit of a letdown, though, because from a distance, it looks like a really tall dungeon. I, got, I thought it was going to be like Dragon Roost from Wind Waker. You know, Wind Waker had a few, like, tall dungeons. It had Dragon Roost. It had um, Tower of the Gods. I guess Ganon's Tower was... Well, it was mostly horizontal, but then right at the end, it's all vertical. Right? Sundilayan. There is a shrine up here, but it's not visible. I wonder what that's about. I gotta be careful on these places, too. There was that one that I had found. Still don't know what this thing is, but I found the Sage's Will. Uh, on one of those islands before, so. How many regions are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. I was gonna say maybe there's one per region, but that might be a bit much. Zelda usually has like seven sages. Um. Now this is clearly a shrine, but. Miam shrine. Wait. Is it glitching out? Uh... Seek the crystal connected to the beam and I will and offer it at the shrine. Do so and you will do what? Something to banish evil? Just the light, I guess. Oh. There's a dude down there. Cork Forest is directly below me. Probably... Well, I guess I can fast travel back up here. I was gonna say, I probably don't want to jump down, though. Test my theory. Right, this seems relatively useless. Except for getting to this island here. There better be a cork on that island. Bottle cork. Guess what? There is no yahaha. Only apples. <laughs> Fuck you.
Goodbye, tree. Oh, someone's going to die from that. Summer wing butterfly. I didn't even see that there. A butterfly found in the woods and plains of the warm regions. All right. Warm butterfly. What? Oh, that's Hyrule. Castle. Like, what am I looking at down there? That looks insane. It's just like the, the, the diving thing was in the way of it, so I thought that was part of it. Uh... Yeah, something was going down there at Cork Forest. Before I go fight that guy, there is Gachapon. There are also birds up here. I am surprised those birds are not startled by the, the existence of this device. Real birds would be like, they would go nowhere near that, that thing. <laughs> but it's not human smelling, so it's fine. Whoops. Oh, you can gain like additional charge? That was an accident, but there's like, it's like stamina wheel, almost. All right, any new things at this one? we got light okay so now I can make light shoot <gasps> there's the things the steering stick zone eye device that can control direction when attached to his uh, conveyance that's what I wanted homing cart the zone eye device that automatically heads for monsters it's believed to have been used by zone eye as a security measure a shock emitter we got one of those. It's a good fucking island over here. I'm getting good shit out of this one. I need more of those steering things. Look at all the rewards. Look at all of those. Hell yeah. Fuck. That's what I like to see. We got 12 of them. And we have 32 fire hydrants. I don't think I'll ever need that many. Steering stick is, is big, though. God damn! Wait! It got murked with the thing! I think... I, I don't know. My camera wasn't really looking at it. <laughs> All right. I like how I thought that shrine not being there was a glitch, though. Well, because, like, the other one, like, uh, didn't have the big stone arms around it. Uh, before it spawned, when I did the diving challenge. There is another one over there, by the way, for those. Oh, this one's spinning as well. I think. Is it? It is, yeah. That diving challenge is spinning, so that one will be a little harder. Oh, shit. Rockets for days. I don't have rockets, do I? Oh, well, I do, but I think I found them in a chest. I don't think I have access to a gotcha that gives rocket. Oh, it's just an already active fire construct. Well, I fought one of these off stream, the one that was on the starting island. So I suppose this is okay. Uh... I wonder... i most used. Right. Alright, so let's... Let's get our proper gear on for this. Um, wait, what is this? By set, by potty, body part. Okay, by set. I think it's better. Um, let's get a pot. What's the weather here? Neutral. So, no weather bonus attacks up or anything like that. Probably could have, instead of wasting another portable pot, could have just cooked at the campsite down below. 
But we'll do this. Alright, let's see. Razor Shroom. Let's see, do I have any defense? Defense would be nice. This guy kind of packs a punch. From what I remember of him. I mean, I guess I could, like, beans him up with the... <laughs> with the gloom weapon. I don't know if I really want to waste it on him, though. That would be good for, like, a, a final, like, fuck you to something that's really been giving me problems. I don't... I don't think I have any defense up. Rush rooms. Uh... Mighty Bananas for attack power, Hydro Melon, Heat Resistance. I don't think you can cook that. I don't know what cook- cooking a splash fruit probably doesn't do- Oh, it's speed. Never mind. Yeah, I don't have any, uh, Iron Shrooms or whatever they're called. And I don't feel like, uh... Oh, you know what? There's- there's monster parts, I think, that you can combine with. Or it has to be a, a, like a type of lizard or something, though. Glowing cave fish, Hyrule bass. Stamina. Yeah, I don't think I have the necessities for defense up. So. It's looking. Oh, well, hang on. These, these raise defense. Amaranth. Here we go. Twitch streamer. And a fortified pumpkin. Yeah, okay. I forgot I forgot about these. There we go. That'll be a defense up three. Yep. Very good. Alright. Fuck this guy. I hate him. I love how the beacon like perfectly stays on him the whole time. Flux Construct. I thought it was called Fire Construct. It's actually just called Flux Construct. He approaches. I like that photo best. Alright, so if it's Flux, I thought it was Fire. Uh, that changes a little bit what I'm doing here. thought it was gonna, like, counter fire. Uh... It's a bit hard to do here. So you detach, and then fuck up, basically. Eh, I'm gonna do... yeah, this is fine. Alright. Oh, he's turned into a fucking platform. Ooh. What is that? The fuck is this? Oh, that's the little crystal. That was, uh... Keeping the beacon on him. Oh, he almost didn't even hit me, though. Get fucked. I didn't even need it. I guess I was too, like, concerned about the first one I ran into. And how it, like, absolutely destroyed me. Anything here? No. Well, I can get another one of these. These are good for weapon fusion. And for that, I will merge. <laughs> um. Hmm. Perhaps. And this does have an attack up buff on it. So, um. So does this. What is this? It's a two-handed weapon. Eighteen. It's not even that much better, but I'll take it. 
So... Oh, you don't even need... Oh, here's the thing, though. You don't actually need to kill him. You just need to get this and bring it back to the stone. Which... I think this itself is the shrine. If I'm not mistaken. But alright. So... Alright, I, I kind of like this. You have to travel with this across islands. Which is why all of the rockets are here. It's not just so you can get to the other one. Thankfully, you can climb this thing. Um, wait. What am I holding on to? I'm not sure if there's a way to do this in a way. Hmm. If I put these all on one side, is it going to move in a direction? Actually, if I do it like this. It'll probably move that way, right? And then we can have some that face directly up. And help go more straight up. Okay. And then just to be safe, I am going to be save. So fantastic. Uh. Hmm. You know what I should have done? What is that Korok puzzle? I gotta like climb on the side of that. I was going to say, I should have, um, attached another one of these things to it. So that way I can, like, like that. My way across. It's fine. This is why I have backup rocket. Though these are my only ones. So, it is imperative I make them work. I'll do this and then rotate. Rotate! No! <laughs> oh, that's not coming back. <laughs> that is why we saved. <laughs> that is why I saved. <laughs> Imagine, like, going through the tedium of actually, like, recovering from that, though. Like, bringing it all the way back up without save scumming. I saved on top of this thing. Thank you. Uh-oh, where's the crystal? Oh, it's just... Reset it position. That's fine. The thing is dead, so that's fine. Here's what I'll do. This time. It will require a bit more work on the rockets, I believe, to, to give me the momentum. But that's okay. There's a lot of these around here, too. So you could, you could just, like, you know... Do the thing where you're bat, 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 to get all the way there. You know, the bear, 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 bears. We all know the bear, 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 bears. 
Everyone knows about the Berber Berber Bears. So first things first. Just attach all the rockets to the bottom thing. So this one can go there. That one can go there. The angles are important. I can be your devil or your angle. Always remember. I might not even need the second one if I do this right. But nothing like a little insurance never hurt no one. Except if you, you know, need to save some money. Then, you know, fuck you. That'll work, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. And I don't even have to spend my rockets this time. Hmm. It's kind of more or less in the same spot. Oh, wait. What is that attached to? Shit. Alright, so that is attached to the, the one up here. So, this is the one we want to wiggle free, otherwise we're going to lose it. Uh-oh. I don't think I can. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, Snake! There is yet one more rocket still. And I have two of my own. Take out one rocket, attach it to this. Actually, I'll take out two. What can I do to keep this thing in the air? Not much. <laughs> oh, you know what I could do? Shit. This other thing's too far away, though. Yeah. 
Oh, well, that works. Oh. Yeah, that works. Okay. So you can you can detach it. You can't move the one you're standing on, but you can detach it. That's what I was worried of. It was that I wouldn't be able to do that. But it's still <laughs> it's attached underneath, which you know, that's got to be some real good glue. That would stress me the fuck out. I would not trust this. Oh, we can just go the rest of the way. And consider this as good as done. Just don't accidentally shake the goddamn thing. Because you will regret that. <laughs> uh -oh. Like, it can't be too far away, right? Not possible. Pretty close to being over if it's already not, but just want to be a little more certain because I don't know the way it's gonna like drop either. We'll put this. Also, I just realized I never updated my stream title. Whoops! I s typed it out. Uh, but didn't hit confirm. Oops. Oh well. Oh well. Most of my folks know what's going on today. Hey, today is Zelda Day, not... There it is. Yes. I have you now, motherfucker. I've got you now, snake! I will grant you a light that banishes evil. I thought this was gonna be something like super cool. And then I remembered... Right, that's basically what the spirit orbs are in this game. That's why you're collecting them, is to remove the Ganon from you. Alright, I brought Goatsy over here. Goatsy has been done. This is probably going to be a, uh, what are they called? A freebie. That, that in and of itself was the shrine, right? Yeah. Blessings, right. Anything special for this one? Magic rod. Yeah. Make a magic rod. What do I want to put on it? I already got a water stick. Uh... Oh, this can be used as a base to make special clothing. Is the fucking luchador skeleton outfit back? I just realized. I've got fire. I've got water. I have electric emitters. Why not? Make an ice rod. Even though that's probably not going to be useful for this dungeon coming up. Sapphire Rod. Now I have ice power. I like the way that the blessings look in this, actually. They actually have an, a completely different aesthetic feel from normal shrines. 
I like them. Point of blessing. Thank you. Now it is time to jump face first down into the woods below. Unless, hmm. Another part of me is like, do I want to try the jump challenge thing that's over there? Problem is, I don't really know a good way to get to it. And we're directly over Korok Forest, so something tells me there is a way. What is that island I'm seeing on the map? Well, that's way up there. So if I can get up there, then I'll easily be able to make it to the other one. The rockets come back, I wonder. The platforms return to where they were. I don't see no rockets spawning in. Oh, there they are. Pop in a little bit. Ah, shit. Forgot to get the Korok. Hang on, Korok is important. That's extra inventory one day. One day. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Just one day. You thought I was going to go into that like song that I think was like a chase commercial? Gonna get you. Nope. Not me. so violent with the way it just like I don't know how I didn't see this the first time I guess I just wasn't looking for it just move the camera in such a way where I wouldn't notice <laughs> shit nugget Acquired. Um, did not mean to do that. I was gonna break this tree and then stasis, and then I was like, wait, that's not in this game. I get a strong feeling the real way to get into Korok Forest. Oh, there's another shine down there. It's gonna be underground, but part of me really wants to try this way as well. Well, you know what? There might be a construct down at the bottom of it all that will teleport you up. But damn it, I want to do it this way, because there's also another island above. Can't see. <laughs> Just put, put them all up there. We'll attach them separately. Just need to do it in a way where I can actually see what I'm doing without the wall being in the way. For the most part, haven't had much problems with this game's camera, by the way. In case you, the viewer, were wondering. For the most part haven't had too much problems with Zelda games since... I would say probably the last time I had problems with a Zelda game was probably one of the N64 ones on the original versions. Or I guess Ocarina 3D maybe, since it didn't have the full analog camera. But Wind Waker and Twilight had full camera, if I recall. Actually, did... Did Twilight Princess actually have it? I don't actually know. Maybe not with the Wii remote. I don't actually know if, if it did or not. I think it did in the HD version, though. That's that's what's important. At least to me, that's what's important. To you! To me! Ah, oh, shit. Star. Alright, we gotta be fast. Oh, 
Though I think that fell in Korok Forest, so... Oh, that took up a lot of battery power. <laughs> no, it fell next to Hyrule Castle. Shit. Well, stars are really rare. That's like... It's like right there. There's a shrine there I haven't done, too. Alright, fine. Fine! I'll leave this. We're coming back to this, though. Oh, good! <laughs> good! One of those! One of those fucking things are in the sky, too! Spicy moon! Which means that construct thing is gonna come back by the time I get back there. Alright, so we're gonna do a shrine over here. We're gonna grab this star piece and a shrine. It's real close by. Right there. I thought I did this shrine. No, I did the shrine that was over there. I, I point to it as if you can see directly where I'm pointing. As if. Oh, we're descending the castle floors. Uh, spicy. Spicy backwards music. Oh shit. Forgot. Kind of a thing. Just things are getting a little spicy outside, that's all. Please don't despawn that. Oh, please don't despawn that. When the glow of the blood-stained moon. I will hate blood moons forever if this gets despawned. Oh my god, it didn't. Can't take photos of them. Star fragment. Will probably be useful in upgrading the deity. That's usually how upgrading the amiibo tunics worked. And the Tunic of the Wild. Which I wonder... I wonder two things. Will the Tunic of the Wild be in this game? I wonder three things. Will the Tunic of the Wild be in this game? I wonder four things. Will the Tunic of the Wild be in this game? Will the Hyrule Warriors Tunic be in this game? Will there be a new Tunic in this game? And where is my breakfast? I never ate today. Shit. I wonder five things in this. Nope, we're done wondering. It's only facts and logic from here on out. My tissue box was on the floor. I don't know why. Oh shit, it's my favorite thing to do in Metroid Prime. That was a nice waste. Um... Backtrack, huh? Here's what I'll say about backtracking. In Metroid Prime. It's okay, but uh... I, I played the remastered version on my own. I didn't stream it, but I, I just played it Because I was like, I don't think there's gonna be a good opportunity for me to stream this game anytime soon and I've already played um, I've already done this game before I've streamed the whole base game Orange do no, this is um This is major melon. This is pink mountain dew the color for gamers. Close, though. Um... Do I have a torch? Kinda don't. Rock hammer will have to do a... That can be lit on fire. Uh-oh. Not good enough, however. 
Stop being so bad at this game. Get up there. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Hey, there's a thing here. Wait, what am I doing any of this for? I have fire things. I mean, I guess this is probably important, getting the chest. But, um... Yeah, I, I played the, the Prime Remastered on my own, and I really liked the game. Um... But, I was reminded at the end of the game why I rank, personally, Prime 1 as my least favorite Prime. Which is to say, I still really like the game. It's just, you know, one of them has to be... There's only three of them right now, because the fourth one will never be real. Um... So, you know... One of them has to be the low one. That did not last me long enough. Alright. Time to drop... Bounce stick for torch. <laughs> I could probably just shoot... Another arrow, and then be done with this. However... Let's play the game the way the game wants to be played. Very well. I think Prime 1 is still a great game overall. Um, I, I really like its world. I like its music. I like its bosses a lot. But boy, howdy, is Prime 1 Metroid the backtrack. Like, all Metroid games are backtracky, but, like, Prime 1 is, like, weirdly, like, unnecessary with it. Like, you go into an area for one thing, and then you leave. And go back to another area. And it's not as fast as traversal in games like Super Metroid. Now that I have, like, an established play session with all of these. Hmm. I have a feeling I know what I have to do here. I have a pretty good feeling. This is gonna be a cool one. Do I have all the chests? I do. That's fucking awesome. That's a good shrine right there. Still pretty simple, but I like that one. That one makes me feel pretty smart. So what am I up to now? Ten? Eventually I'll, I'll make my way over to a goddess statue and get some new stuff. I'm not really in a hurry to do so right now. I'm holding my own. Hell, I did a whole playthrough of Breath of the Wild with three hearts. I'm used to shit like killing me with one hit. <laughs> when it comes to the regular Breath of the Wild, I... I just learned to dodge everything and then it really doesn't become a problem. And then you do like defense up gear, which I guess I don't have the iron plate mail right now. Which does leave me particularly weak. Uh... All right. Now back to where we were. Uh, figuring out how I'm going to get up there. And hey, gosh, man, I I like how this stream was like, yes, I will do a dungeon today, and here I am. On the side of the world with no dungeons. I mean, Oran City's not that far, but we're gonna be doing Hebra first. I swear. And after I do Hebra, I'm gonna learn that there was an ability that's gonna make getting to this island up here way easier than what I am currently mustering. You ever cut the mustard before? That's what we're about to do. We're about to cut that goddamn mustard. 
fucking crack the mustard. All right, so here's an idea. Putting 800 rockets on the platform does not, in fact, make it go insanely high up. It makes it only go a little bit up. Uh, but that does that's not the problem. The problem is not the battery power. It's, it's the length that a rocket lasts. Do I have more? Uh, I think I'm out of rockets. Well. Hmm. So. Could, does this work? Does this give heat? I don't think it does. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, it's not like... It's not like the base game. Where, uh... Like, you have like a, a heat weapon that you can hold. Produces heat. Like, yeah, these do not produce any heat. We need like. Yeah, if you get <laughs> if you put that too close, it's like nah. Um. Shit. Give me in there. Give me in there. Come on. I guess you can do this. Slowly but steadily gives you air. Wait, 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 wait. What if I just build a fucking, like, campfire, though? Oops. Does that work? Yeah. Well, it's just firewood. That's on fire. Like, it's not a campfire. Weird. <laughs> Is this rising us? Yep. Very slowly. <laughs> very, very slowly. Hang on, what if we attach a few more? Losing firewood. <laughs> How's about that? Now we are flying.
I can't believe this is working. <laughs> this is my way. And it's my way or the highway, baby. Oh yeah, baby! Is this the highest island? What ran out? Something said no. I'm still rising, so that's fine. Um, I don't Oh. It has a limit to how much it can raise, I guess. Uh... It's a bit disappointing that they're just not infinite. However... Uh... <laughs> grab the wood. Lose both these other balloons here in a moment. Oh, all right, the weight gets a little wobbly. It's hard to say, but I think that stuff over there might be higher. Yeah, I would say it probably is. Oh, I never used that cooking pot, but that's okay. Holy shit, this is so fucking high up. Like, I know people made those, like, flying minecart machines, but they didn't even make it this high up. Pretty sure there was, like, an upper, like, ceiling to Hyrule. Where it was like, you can't go any further. Maybe. What's in here? Old map! Very old map that shows a marked spot. What could be there? Hey! Where is that? Below... The Korok area. That's gonna be the Makar mask, I bet. Cool. I like the treasure maps. I haven't found very many of them, but... I've heard that there are many. There might be one, I, I don't know this for sure, but there might be one for each of Misko's treasures. Which would be kind of cool. I'm just like infatuated with everything I see here. Like if it looks like I'm spacing out, it's just because I'm like That's very good. <laughs> this is just a good game to relax to though, honestly. There's lots to do and see. And there's as much to do and see as as you could want, I guess. Unless you consider this to be too much. Which I guess could be fair, but you do the stuff you want to do. Don't do it all. You don't have to do it all. You could also, you know, play this game for literally years if you wanted to. Uh-oh. Time to die. Because <laughs> I missed one. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a death counter going, but like, that would require me to go through all my VODs again. I'm a bit surprised the game doesn't keep track of it. This seems like one of those games where like, you would have like a tracker telling you how bad or good you're doing. 
Oh, wonderful timing on the autosave. Alright, uh, glide shirt. Where is it? Right, maybe I should actually categorize like that. There we go. Much better air mobility here. Why oh, are they randomized? This feels different. Oh, this one's moving. <laughs> it's not a Yahaha, it's a shrine. Grow! Is there a construct? There is. I bet you he'll have the same thing for me. Ah, oh, shit. Fairy missed. Another gotcha over here. Let's see if this one has anything unique. I will hold off on using the bigs until I know if there's something good in them. I think this is all new stuff. Never mind. Construct head. Um, a Zonai device that always faces whatever it uh, deems an enemy. Right. We ran into one of these below Hyrule Castle. So now I have one of those. I have access to those. Not overly amazing right now, but I'm sure that definitely has its uses. I know it does. I used it. In a useful way. Nice arrows. You! It's time for you and me once again to go through this thing that we call speech! The radiant light of the sun warms both body and spirit. Welcome to the divine ceremony. Are you ready to begin? I saw you attempt to die before the ceremony had commenced. I applaud your enthusiasm. The time has come for you to die at the ceremony. Assuming you are ready. Good. There's an initial requirement of one zone I charge. One of the often said offering, even though he said nothing about offering, I don't think. Get there in 35 seconds. That I can do. Easy. Watch this. First try. You see me doing that focus thing. That's all part of the plan. Twenty one fifty and a new record. Very good, very good. Your time is 21.50. What an unbelievably magnificent showing. This is proof of your maturity. You are more than our net. Glide tights. Cloth sewn to these tights allow their wearer to glide more easily as they plummet from the sky. You are faster and more courageous than any I have witnessed. Take this in honor of your incredible record. I must register you as the record holder. Please state your name. Understood. I registered late as a record holder. All right. Oh yeah, baby. Shrine time. Even though it's just probably going to be another blessing. These are the blessing skies over here. Though I'd be okay if this is an actual shrine. I, I like doing the shrine puzzles. So far, the one that's challenged me the most was the one where I had to cross the river. And I learned that I was supposed to build a paddle boat. Oh shit, this is a shrine shrine. Wait, where are my things? A shrine of Persians that purifies the ancient Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Cops out, buffer. 
Moving grounds. Lights out. So there are shrines that are even tied island and light shield. This is a cool fucking shrine. This feels unlike anything I have done before. Oh, I have to kill the constructs? That I can do. Probably should have... music there goes that now all right so that so it's all about their total health bar on the top as well Food is taken away as well, which means no healing in the shrine. This this is just like an even tide island shrine. Long stick. Hell shrine. Your equipment will be returned to you. Nice. Also, I never equipped the new leggings. I should probably wear those. I am invisible. <laughs> oh, there he is. I was like, Link isn't real. It's okay, he doesn't have to be real. That was a good shrine. Not much of a puzzle, but... That was like... It was a combat shrine. That wasn't just the same as any other combat shrine. That was fucking cool as shit! I don't- I- I liked that there were tests of strength in Breath of the Wild, but they all fucking felt the same aside from slight variations in the difficulty. They're all the same, like, arena, more or less, right? Sometimes there's water on the ground, which you could use. Sometimes there was, like, iron on the ground. It didn't make that much of a difference. It was all just a big square room with, like, no walls. Some support pillars in the middle. Oh, it got real dark when they- when they put that away. It's like they turned off the nightlight. And now it's like, oh shit, the monsters! Uh, how many... Orbs, that's 11 orb. Orb nation, rise up. Unfortunately, I don't get to keep those rubies, though. I guess if I didn't use them, I could have, uh... Oh, I'm gonna use stealth to make sure I get this. I guess if I didn't use them, I could have... <laughs> Fuck. Could have probably taken them home. I used stealth up, didn't even fucking work. Bad game. Awful game, even. Yahaha! Yeah, ha ha!
<laughs> nope. <gasps> You're not doing that. I wonder if I got real close to a shrine. Ah, uh, that's what you have to do. <laughs> Wonder if I got real close to this shrine. Could I technically activate it? <laughs> they probably thought of this though, right? I mean, I can see it through the fog. How many shrines are- oh! <laughs> Deku tree just spawned in. Oh, that straight up worked! <gasps> no, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> well, there was Korok forest music there. I wonder if I'm fast enough. The problem is I'm not really fast enough to get close to the shrines. Well, discovering the shrine, though, isn't enough to get the fast travel point, though. Right? Yeah. Yeah, discovering the shrine isn't enough. So I can't fast travel to that. So I did technically discover that shrine. All right, so then it is you have you have to go like underground or something. I mean, there might be another way through the lost woods. I don't know. I want to know though. So before we go do this dungeon, the dungeon will be towards the end of the stream. Maybe I, maybe I still won't even make it to the dungeon. I must figure out the mystery of Korok Forest. And how to enter. Can you believe it's been like an hour since I was at this tower? Nah, you don't see me, bro. No, I'm I'm stealthy. Whoa, is this a new? Soldier Construct 3. I didn't recognize his headpiece. There are several of them. Uh... Let me just go ahead and equip this and that. Whoa, hitboxes. Hitboxes worked in my favor for a moment and then it, it for gore. Stop spinning! Why do you stop spinning? Uh fuck your wooden shield. Fuck your chicken strips. Soldier construct three horn. It can cut through plants and large trees. It's like an axe head. Using a bow is so much easier because bows do way more damage in this game to, than your base weapons do. But arrows... That, that makes arrows cost even more.
the old photos better. Alright. Uh, what? Dragon? Again? Hang on. This might despawn the dragon. But if not... I was gonna do this anyways. So I wanted to get a good dive into the tower. It probably despawned the dragon. <gasps> no, it didn't. It didn't. It really didn't. Holy shit. Uh, we don't need to go this high up. Put on the suit. I'm a bit surprised it's not like too cold up here. Slower dragon music. This one is really pouring out with ooze, though. That was definitely a horn, though. Oh, yeah, haha. -ha. I'll get that in a second. This is important. That is real unfortunate. It's gone. Wait. No, that's gone. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> that's so fucking unfortunate. Oh my god. That's a horn, too. Damn it. Oh, it despawned. Well, I'm not getting that. see. Believe it or not, I see. What? What happened there? Asshole. Oh my god, really? Why do bacoblin skulls remind me of pugs? Pug party! Pug party! Ah, so if you even so much as jump off of it. Good enough. Doesn't have to be a bullseye. Just land on it. I appreciate the new Korok puzzles. There are some that are similar in that, like, there's, like, ones that are very close to the Magnesis ones. I guess that's not too dissimilar from previous Korok puzzle. I don't think there was anything that was directly that, though. What dragon is this? Light dragon? Uh, it showed it up for- it showed up for a second. Hang on. Can I get a photo of it if I'm up here? <laughs> this is Zelda. That's my... That's my theory. She ate... the stone. And draconified. Is it gonna drop, like, fucking light arrows? Or, like, things I can use to make light arrows? Alright. 
There's also a shrine. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was an accident. I'm glad that happened, though. Let's see what's going on down here. I had no idea there was going to be a star fall there. Uh, this is weird popping. Drennan Highlands Chasm. Whoa. Were you just hanging out here? Please stop burning me. What is this music? Forgot that <laughs> that could still be a problem. <laughs> Okie dokie. So does Denron just kind of go on like a loop around this like spot? I don't know. That the light dragon is too far away. <laughs> Damn it! That means my cool catch isn't real though. Yeah. Shit. Probably not gonna happen again, is it? <gasps> no, it is! <laughs> exact same spot, too. Uh, there's a few things to do here. I'm going to this shrine first so Dinral moves out of the way. Because right now I don't have what it takes to withstand being near Dinral. That's an interesting idea, though. I wonder what that's going to mean for Farash. Am I just going to get electrocuted for being near it? You're going to need, like, the rubber suit to even think about Dinral or uh, Farash. Also, there was another, like, smaller cave, yeah, over here. In the Elma Knolls. In the Elma Knolls, she just does, um, sliding slinger. And, um, other such arts, such as that. Sliding slinger! And is voiced by Caitlin Glass. That's the other part. All right, well, this is another shining in darkness. This is full glow, by the way. Still not even that amazing. Do I need a key? Well, I'll be able to get three upgrades next. Dare I say two hearts, one stamina? Oh, there's something over here. This is loud over here. Indeed. So glad I drank this glow. Suppose you don't even really need... ...the, uh, light. You just glow. What is this? Now that's a secret. It's so bright in here. Oh, small key. I needed to do that, right. That was not the- sh that was not the, uh... The thing, thankfully. Here's the chest. Luminous stone. That's a bit weak. Thankfully not the only chest. Well, there... This maze probably has a few chests. Actually. I 
Can I miss something? It's so bright in here. Still not all the chests. All right, finally, a shrine that has more than one chest. Might get a little bit of every uh, gem. It's the beginning of the shrine. That is nothing. Was there anything else over this way? It's a path over here I didn't take. Uh, I'm going to assume I don't want to trip the infrared. Like a BMO, so are you? No. Guardians were more or less just BMOs in the last game. You have finally escaped work. Aren't you having yourself a long day of work today, Tony? Well, welcome home from work, or if you're on your way home, welcome to the outside world. In the outside world on Street Fighter 6 Friday. There is Street Fighter 6 out there in the world that you could be playing a demo of. Uh, this is the end of the shrine. But not the end of all the chests. There's still more chests out here. I gotta say, I found some really interesting shrines today. I am very happy with these ones. They feel... So, uh, the early game shrines definitely feel very simple. Which makes sense, I guess. Uh, late game shrines? Or well, whatever this is, I guess... Um, just places that aren't the beginning game? are way more in-depth and I would argue more fun than Breath of the Wild trying so far. Now why is that lit up? Uh... I don't know. Is it just supposed to be like a guiding ceiling light? Huh. It's pretty open up there. Apparently there's still another sh uh, chest in this shrine somewhere. Just looking around. Like this one, you can see the roof. What the fuck? Hang on. Car alarm is going off. Oh. Uh, uh, um. Okay, it's just my roommate's car. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was my car. So like, what the fuck? There ain't nothing good in there. I got like a... I got like a water bottle that I might have forgotten to throw away. Um, there's some blankets in the back seat if you're cold. Some towels in case they're spilling. Okay, there's something going on here in the middle. There's like an extra ceiling happening here. The question is, how do you get up to the ceiling? And that 
I haven't figured out, but I have an idea. Alright, so that was like right here, right? So, if I take- wait, can I just- Actually, can I just stand on top of this thing? Yes. All right. What I was going to do is I was going to take the box, put it into the hole, and then lift it or uh, do reverse. But uh, this works too. Zonite bow. That's a powerful bow. That's the best standard bow I've gotten. Power drains. Arrows can fly much farther. According to how long a shot shot is charged. Hmm. Interesting. What? Hey, look! There was the arrow I dropped. Is that all of them? All right, that's all the things. Something up there, too. Eh, I don't need it. Alright, cool. Good shine. Honestly. I like that one. That is 12. And get two hearts and a stamina. Next time I'm around a town. I right. surely Dinral has despawned. Now that I've gone away. Also, was there originally a trail up here now I think about it? I don't think so. Yeah, because this goes over what used to be a big pool of lava. Oh, look. Lizard Springs. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, eventually I'll need to make my way back to Goron City to get uh the the fire resistant gear, at least a piece of it. All right, now we shall see what's down the hole, because I don't think. Dinral is going to be in the way. I mean, he hot. Alright, let's see what's down this hole, finally. I just want to see if there's a way for me to get into Korok Forest from here. It's either the depths or, or a cave, because diving doesn't work. Like diving from the sky. I like this suit. What do we got? Bones! It appears several many people have tried to jump down here. And not everyone was very successful. Yeah. Should have just thrown one of these down the hole with me, actually. Um... Well, there's... He's still on the move. He didn't exactly despawn. Um... It does appear... What is this? Alright, that's where I'm headed. I was gonna say, it does appear that this is... Uh, mostly aesthetically similar... 
to the place that we went to before. It's just dark cave with big tree. What is that? What have I found? It's a super pole. Of oh no, it's Yiga. I fucking knew these fuckers were gonna be down here. At one point, I totally said... I don't remember if this was in reference to Zelda or something, or like when, when I mentioned this exactly, but... I definitely said, you know, that Koga fell down that hole, and since there's gonna be like caves... Koga's gonna be fine. And he's gonna be down in the depths, or, or whatever. I didn't know it was called the depths, but I was like, he's gonna be down below. And I was fucking right. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. So is this an outpost or is this their new base? Looks a bit small to be the base. I knew we weren't done with those Yiga banana fuckers though. You might be saying, why are you calling them banana fuckers? If you've never played this game, or Breath of the Wild, I guess. Because they fuck bananas. What do you mean, why? Why would you ask that? Good thing no one actually did, but like... If you were to so much as think about it... There is a light source over there. Even the small ones are a pretty good source of light, honestly. He didn't notice that. I love that he has a battle tank. <laughs> There are more of them, or is it just him? I love him. It even has, like, Yiga branding on it. Ooh. Oh. This isn't the end of the world. Just go through the mushroom. Big pole. Grand pole! Plus 20. Glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for rewards. Ega foot soldier. Check this. I have one bomb flower. Generally, generously given to me just a moment ago. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I didn't even have to fight the guy. It, it, it was just him down here. Under the Colosseum ruins on the surface, an imposing building similar to, similar to that same Colosseum has been discovered. There are reports that as many as six su uh, such structures exist in the depths. One in the deepest depths below the Korok Forest near here. But there are rumors of eerie growls coming from inside. A courageous team member went to test their metal. But we haven't heard from them in quite a while. We hope they are safe. Glory to Master Koga. Koga's... Koga's just chilling down here. They probably came down here looking for him. And then was like, holy shit. Two chest. Oh. Storage crate of bananas. If you had my doubts about the banana fucking... There you go! Large crystallized charge. That's good. I haven't gotten very many of those. 
Yiga schematic. Schematic for a strange invention made of Zonai devices and building materials. What? What do you mean? Oh, hey. Uh... Don't want to delete those. Um, how do I use it? Hmm. I guess you can't yet. Mark does a key item, though. There might be a thing for that later. Fucking mighty bananas. Mighty, mighty bananas. You gotta get them with the photo of the banana symbol in the background, though. Well, I mean... What's stopping me from taking his car? Sorry, I've really got the, the shaky leg going on today. Now we're going to first person. I see that really bad. Um... I mean... Oh, he's already got one. One here. Never mind then. Got fans. Just put it back. Oh, I know what I'm driving around. Does this require power? It does. <laughs> oh, very good. I just put it over the fence. Alright, off we go. So there is a coliseum down here somewhere, apparently. Very good. You can't go through water. So the way into Korok Forest, I'm going to go all the way around and end up at that hole. If this is really the way in. I mean, I guess I can do that. Where'd the car go? Just keep the overworld map up, and then... Because it's not like I have any map down here anyways right now, so... Yeah, just keep the over overworld map. And drive around. These you can go over any damn terrain and get in your way. Mostly. Alright. <laughs> Fuck this thing. Alright, maybe it's my fault for driving it over the shit terrain. Maybe. But fuck this thing. Alright. Alright, now we're ready. Now we're ready for a trucking adventure. Mother truckers. Run over the bugs. <laughs> Fuck! Uh... I guess we'll go this way. Hmm. 
I really gotta wait for this thing to recharge though if it runs out of battery. I could have sworn when I controlled this thing before though. It did not... Oh, can I not detach things from this? I don't think I can. This is all a big pre-build. Comes in a package. I was gonna say, could have sworn when controlling things like this before, like the big wheel did not require power to use. What is that? All oh, those are like fire keys. What did I just kill? <laughs> I just killed some fucking... Some dudes. <laughs> Do the keys know I'm here? Maybe. This tank literally went out of- are they eating the fucking corpse? I think they were. Unfortunately, you can't whistle for the car to follow you. Fuck them up, Cannon. Oh, they're evasive. Whoa, 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 stop autopiloting. No! You shit fucker. I believe I'm gonna leave that behind. Ow. Where'd the other head go? Just kind of disappeared. Alright, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Up to 250. Would it be nice if I could find another one of those, uh... Oh, there's a thing. Oh, that's that shrine that I found before. Okay. I haven't actually been to that shrine, but I know there's a shrine there. should have gone to uh town before coming down here to have more health let's see take that My man's got fucking yeeting arms. He's ready to yeet that beat at any given moment. Alright, so there should be one of those things like right here. What is that? Stone talus. Unless it's not always one to one, but... One of those glowing things should be nearby. Ah, there it is. I feel like this might actually be like an inverse of the overworld terrain. Like if it goes up, it goes down here. Which would be an interesting thing. I don't think it's one to one necessarily, but it's kind of similar. Uh, 
Um, the light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay. Um, there are ruins over there. Head towards the green, then we'll make our way towards Korok Forest. I love how I said I was going to do a dungeon, and I haven't even started walking in that direction today. <laughs> that is the power of ADHD and this game. Like, I, I am very interested to do a dungeon. Like, I want to know what this game's dungeons are like. But, uh... Look at how far away that's going. Holy shit. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I'm very interested to see what this game's dungeons are like. Canyon mine. Chest. This is very similar structure to where I found the glowing armor. So, is this gonna be another one? No. But that's good to have anyways. Rock hammer. Eh. I could go that way. Or I could go that way. Yeah, so if you need zonite, you can find these mines, I guess. That was the other thing that was here. There was a lot of zonite. So hang on. I want to do options. Uh, mini map. I want to be locked to north. Where is that? There we go. Just so I don't get lost. I'm I'm trying to head in this direction. Find my way into Korok Forest, which I know I'm going the wrong way. Like I, I should have gone through the other cave at this point. a hard wall on the end, right? Yeah, it does. It's so deep. That means that, like, the Death Mountain Hole is gonna be, like, especially deep if my theory about, like, the depths being an inverse of the overworld terrain, more or less. It's definitely not one to one, but it's pretty close. Oh, stop. Please just climb. way to climb over here. There's nothing like the mines are here, right? I don't think there's like anything like up there. Maybe a Korok puzzle, but Which I guess at the peak of mountains there seems to be these mines. Like in the overworld.
little dark right here. I just threw that. Very good. Should probably wear the minor top at the very least. So I have a little bit of light around me. Link is just as frustrated that he keeps slipping as I am. He keeps going... Arr! I caught him slipping on main. And he's like, it's not like that! Oh, this is gonna take a while to get around. Isn't it? another soldier over there and the light bud which that's the same light bud from before I think oh but there's a soldier right here too All right. soldier spear sparkle critical hit Drop this one. I haven't been using the spark emitter. Probably drop that too, just so we don't have it. And then save on some space. There we go. Soldier spear sword. Doesn't have that crit up, but it has durability up. Sure, use more arrows. I may uh, abandon this direction because this way seems a pain in the ass to try to get through. There's a hole there, but if I'm going into Korok Forest this way, then I might as well enter from the what the way that is right there. This seems like the easiest thing to do. Enter from hell. The other question is, how would you climb from the bottom of Korok Forest without, like, hot air balloons? That I don't know. I guess you could also use rockets if there are any nearby. All right, to figure out which way it was. There's also that other great fairy that I saw. There's so much I've seen today alone. It's like wow. There's this. There's that. There's this. There's so much. I'm getting into Korok Forest this way. I swear to God. If this if this doesn't work, then I'll fuck around and find out some other way some other time. This makes the most sense to me. Do I have a weapon? What about a shield? Uh, how about we make a new shield, guys? You see what I'm gonna do? Has to be knocked down first. Give me that. It's spinning away. It's like a fucking top. Parry bees. You ever been parried by your own house before? Fuck that guy. He had so much meat on him. Meat! Oh! Shit, you can have apples on you? Is that a different variation? No. I don't like them. I kind of don't like this outfit. <laughs> it's kind of, it kind of makes me uncomfortable. He's just 
only wearing chains. I guess if you were like underground in a hot cave, you probably wouldn't want more than just, you know, some light strapped on you. Somehow I... Minishy Woods? Wait. Oh, that's the name of this. I was gonna say, what? <laughs> I didn't actually know that this was called the Minishy Woods. What the fuck are all these noises? I keep hearing loud bangs. I think the mics are picking them up too. Sorry about that. Hang on. Let me be right back. I'm just gonna check in on something real quick. Okay. Sorry about that. Let us resume. <laughs> All right, that's definitely one of the Korok Forest things, so... Theory confirmed. I can get under the Korok Forest, at least. I don't know about getting into it yet. Oh, hey. Death Mountain over there, I guess. Would make sense. Not lava falling underneath. Good. Then that's the way I'm headed. That's the way I'm gonna go. Oh. Look at that over there. What the fuck am I looking at? It's like already all lit up over there. I don't know, maybe I will do the Goron one first. Like, I want to do the Rito one first, but... I've kind of already been in this area a bit. And the Goron one is currently, at least, the more intriguing one. You know what? Fuck it! I will do the Goron one first. Here I was thinking, ah, yes, I'll do Bird, because story pushes me for that. You know what? Fuck the story. I hate the story. No, I don't. But... You know, fuck it! Also, I just realized I forgot to switch back to this. Whoops, sorry about that. You just barely... At least you could kind of see what was going on. My bad. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I'm just checking something real quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's under the Deku tree right there. And this is the entrance to Korok Forest. Without a doubt. Oh, it's even foresty down here, too. A path I need to take. I wonder if this helps line out the path you need to take in the overworld. Or if this is the way to do it. That's looking mighty interesting over there. Korok Grove. So glad you guys are down here.
Oh good, that was a waste. See ya. out of the fires. I don't have a lot of uh, shit to go around here. This is gonna go bad. Surprisingly, it kind of worked. That's minus one. Fuck. You really can't melee these guys all that much. Not when there's fucking five of them. Damn it. Oh, man. I kind of had it, too. And then I, I just couldn't get the flat fucking hit off on him. Why do they keep respawning? Piss off! No Ganon? No Ganon this time. You know what? I'll take that. Thank God. Bunch of pose here though. Big pose. Or large pose. Aren't they called big pose in other Zeldas? I think so. Three fifty. I wonder if there's going to be one of those uh, statue things down here. path that way surprisingly after I healed the gloom I did not take any more gloom damage I was really trying to like just like face tank the gloom Turns out I dodge tanked it instead. Are those fucking beans? Oh, 
I mean, I guess that's something you can do with gloom. So if you have enough gloom resist, just run through everything, right? Is this a transport to the surface? What is this structure? I think it is actually. Yep, you can do that. Probably want to do this first though, and get back down here. Bee shield. The power of bees. Alright. Cool beans. Yeah, I guess there was beans over there. Before I go up there. I have a desire, a craving, if you will. 404, unable to find. It's not that I can't find, it's, I, it's that I refuse to find. I will see what's going up with Korok Forest in just a moment. I want to get another one of these. I don't really know what collecting the light down here does other than fill in your map. I mean, it shows me where a shrine is on the overworld. Do they actually sh I wonder, do they share the same name as the shrines from above? Alright. And now this place is fairly well lit. We'll go to that other one, too. I'm sure there's gonna be, like, Korok Trials. Again. I'm just wondering if the Master Sword's just gonna be here again, though. I mean, we gave it to Zelda, who we now... I guess spoilers. Because of the order that I did cutscenes, but... I feel like it was obvious with the first one. Three, two, one, ripping the bandit off. We know that Zelda is you know, time traveling or some shit. So we gave her the thing and then she's doing her thing, I guess. You know, her thing. I don't need to actually get to these shrines legitimately. This is fine enough. Yeah, you can actually see, if you look on the map here, all of the terrain uh, does the same shape as the Deku tree, I'm noticing. Also, there's another ruins? Uh, there's a ruins here. Hmm. Also, that water. No, it's just weird grass. Hate it when they get weird grass. Alright, soon I will go up to the surface. Oh, it's just one of those things with the... I ran into one of those before. Just like various tools. What is this? What is this thing? Huh? That's another one of those things that you can just kind of put wherever, I guess. Huh. 
Very well. What is that? Oh, it's a boss blade. Not who is that? What is that? Oh, so is that down here or up there? It's down here. So I need to go to that, I think. I've got gloom resist and gloom healing abilities. Oh. And it'll recover anyways, eventually. I guess as long as I'm not fighting one of those... Phantom Ganon hands. It's fine. So yeah, you can see the water. From down here. So wait, the water doesn't create just like a barrier? Or does it? I can't tell. I think it does. It does. It does. And the... Oh, there's a big structure. Oh, that's the Colosseum. The, the, um... The Yiga thing was talking about. And now, because of the way the light system works, all of Korok Forest has been lit. Down here, anyways. So that's the Colosseum, huh? I have to fight some dudes. Oh! There's a trail of bananas to get there. I mean... The thing about Mighty Bananas and the Yiga are... <laughs> Mighty Bananas are actually a really plentiful way to get an attack up buff. <sighs> so I can substitute Mighty Bananas for my Deity Armor. And get more defense. Which won't be much right now since I still haven't gotten to any fairies, but... Better than nothing. Yiga banana trail. They really wanted to make sure they knew where to go. Oh, they they sh they fucking sh moving. Yep, like it when that happens. Like the way you work it. No diggity. It lives. Wait, is this one... Oh, this is a black one. Do I have a picture of a black one? I do. Oh, <laughs> with the arrow as well? Very well. You want death? You want fun? Wario will show you fun. I like this battle music. Oh, there was another one. Hey, did you know I'm here? Mr. Bacoblin, sir? He didn't seem to mind very much. Um... My weapon is on fire now. Oh! Yeah, he really didn't seem to mind all that much. A 
How about you, sir? Like wind? Yeah, you get down here. This isn't even the fight that I should be using my weapons on. Feel like fucking his day up. Blue is Alpha's tail. Somehow I didn't get one of those yet. I've killed several of them at this point because I've had their horns before. I just guess I got unlucky with the tail spawn. Uh. Forest Coliseum. Something spooky's gonna spawn here. Before I do anything. For cooking. One will be all banana. Oh, what? Good cook. Pack up three. Uh, how about... Is that, is that the only truffle I have? I believe so. I don't think I have any other hearty items. So... All right. Meat. And where's bigger meat? Where is my bigger meat? What is this organization? By most used? Oh. I wanted to do by type. Uh. Yeah, well, so we'll get rid of the lesser meat. Where's that at? Lesser meat. Removed. Add rice. Add rock salt. That did not give me the heart. Oh, God damn it! It's supposed to like boost my stamina past its maximum. <laughs> We've got you now. You must be Link. You're as foolish as you are, Greedy. Who would have left precious bananas just lying around? You walked right into our trap. Oh, right. Introductions. <clears throat> Listen and tremble in horror. Watch and quake with fear. For we are the unstoppable force sworn to eliminate you and Princess Zelda too. Led by the indomitable Master Koga. Mm -hmm. We are the Yiga Clan. Mm -hmm. And now, you're about to pay the price for your foolishness. Allow me to introduce you to our debt collector. Born from the depths lurking in the darkness of the Forest Coliseum, <laughs> behold the Black Hinox! Your life is ours. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, uh-oh! One small miscalculation. I forgore... ...that I didn't have arrows. <sighs> Well, if ever there's a time for this. Come here. Oh, he's got ankle guards, though. I didn't want to take no risks. 
Wow! Fuck you! I didn't. I don't even think I had a photo of them. <laughs> Turns out all that Ganon killing. It wasn't for nothing. This is a horn? This looks like the top of a hammer. Which is probably exactly what it's for. <laughs> and this is the treasure that was marked on my map. Korok mask. A mask made inspired by those fun-loving Koroks. How did I know? Well, now I'll know when a yahaha is near. Never will I miss a yahaha. A yahaha. Ever again. Alright, let's see what's up. Why is the forest shrouded in darkness? What has happened to our dear Deku tree? Are these his roots? No. No, the roots don't really come down here, do they? Actually, do they? Actually, they kind of do. Imagine forgetting about this and being like, wait, how do I get... Wait. That seems like cheating. That's not going to take me all the way to the top, though. No. It's going to get you on top of the... the bud. I like, that... That would be a cheap way to get to every shrine, is to just, like... Get underneath them and then rise. I guess it could work theoretically, but it's gonna be a lot of swimming. <laughs> You're pretty damn far underground, bro. Yeah. Oh, the master sword is not here. Frame rate forest. Hmm. Oh, he's dripping with ooze. Got bad breath. Sad Koroks. Mm. They're all dead. Well, the last time I was at Korok Forest, there was an um, incredibly shitty shrine. And by shitty, I mean... It was one of the most simple, yet complex shrines of all time. <laughs> so let's see how the first Korok Shrine goes this time. Swing to hit. Uh, it seems relatively more straightforward this time. And you just like you can't do it when you're standing on it, of course. Oh. Well, I'm just going to carry this with me. Hmm. It seems to have not worked the way... I may have wanted it to. 
That's okay. God, I still got this attack up. For four more seconds. Two. One. No more attack up. Right, thank God I no longer have that attack up. Honestly, it's pissing me off. had an idea. What if to get to this chest I did. Um What if I did something like this, though? Oh! <laughs> no. That did not work out the way I thought it was going to. Try something else. Or just do it this way. I think I had the right idea there. Maybe. Yeah, because you can't grab that. I'm probably doing this way, way, way more complicated than it needs to be. this nice catch did it wow <laughs> that works if it works then it works that's all that's important uh Thank you. 
Uh huh. So I need to find a way. To. Kinda have an idea. Problem is Alright, 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 hang on. So what if that was there like that, right? What if, and what if I threw that just on the ground, just like that? And then rotate this for no reason. And then attach those together. And then attach it to that. So close. Yet so far. Um, hmm. So you need... You need the, the stick to give, like, the swing, I think. So, that goes up there like that. And then this one. This is finally the first uh, shrine, by the way, where the solution was not baby easy. And made me have to think about how the physics actually work. And it's a fun solution in the end. That didn't feel bullshit. That just... I was like, okay, hmm, how do I set this up? That was a good one. I liked this one. Think of that heal. I like that heal. Well, hell, if I do all the shrines around Korok Forest here, maybe I'll be able to get yet another. One. So, he's been infected. Are they like fucking zombies? Oh. Wasn't there an inn here before? Deku tree chasm. Yo, welcome to Ocarina of Time. Oh, good. Give me a second. <laughs> Fight these guys in just a sec. Just, just one second. Just one second. 
I'm not afraid of them. I just... <laughs> I don't have arrows, so... I'm too lazy to just warp back to get some. What's our cooking pot, right? Yeah. Don't have arrows! Oh. Guess we're, uh, using a gem here. I guess I could use a flint. Wait, do I have a flint? <laughs> Before I waste a whole gem on this. We are out of flint. Surely I have a flint. Oh, I have 34. Yeah. This music is crazy. Alright. So... Warding meat skewer, gloom resistance. Um, oops. It's an easy one. Oh, you need to do more of those. I see. Isn't there a goddess statue here? Oh yeah, there it is. I'm gonna take two hearts and a stamina. Interestingly, though, the Master Sword isn't here. So, Master Sword is somewhere else. If the Master Sword's not here, then I think it's at the Great Plateau. That's my other theory. Because the OG Temple of Time is there. Stamina Vessel. At long last, we finally upgrade our stamina. Looks just as the same as I remember it. Beautiful mask. You can see all of Link's like facial expressions while he wears this thing. ourselves a goddamn salad here. Right. Bring your defense up. Yeah, you gotta combine it with something else to get good amounts of defense. Get one... This, this is just, like, overpowered, though. How easy it is to get a hold of bananas. And then... Let's see. If we combine tomat, tomato, and mushroom. Right, double mushroom. Actually, wait. This is... Oh, uh, that just ups the heart recovery. And then, uh... I have swift... Violet, yes. And then, uh, oil. Steamed tomats. Steamed tomats. Energizing meat and rice bowl. Five glowfish for full glow effect. 
And then... What else? Door. Not a huge recovery there, but... Electricity resist. Plus... I don't think I have an electric. Oh, I do. Shock resistance double. Now I could probably get near Farron and be fine. Unless you need full resistance, which I guess would make sense. And then as for weapons, uh, we got some good ones. I'm going to take the fuse material here, and I'm going to Oh, don't cook that. I almost cooked it. <laughs> 23. Alright, that's a good weapon, though. <laughs> 20. Now I have, like, a katana. What else? Uh... Double durability up on this. Is this like a boomerang? This, fe this thing feels like it would be added for like boomerang power. <laughs> Double durability, black Hinox hammer. It won't last that long because it's just a damn stick, but it should be a good weapon. Alright. I think I'm ready. Where's this fucker at? He's hurting my Deku? I'll fuck him up. Just that simple, though. Without arrows, <laughs> this is still not just a win button. Nope. You can't just go in the middle and spin. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Uh, I can't even get an attack in because I'm too damn slow with this weapon. They don't do any direct damage to me. So what you do is you get them all down to low health. And you want to try to kill them all at once. Otherwise, they're gonna respawn like a motherfucker. Back. 
and they respawn with a good amount of health too. Okay. <sighs> well, the gloom hearts are healed. I just need healing in general. <laughs> this weapon is less good now. The good part broke. Ah! Fucking love that. It's so fucking good, mate. <sighs> oh, shit. my way through everything. Fuck. I have no timing. Uh. Well. Shit. It's time to start eating lesser foods. Eat time to eat whole raw steaks. Why does that not give me the flurry rush? I guess I wasn't far enough back. I can't, I, I, like he, he's, he's faster than I expect him to be. Is the biggest problem here. Oh, he's immune to that. Fuck you. Does that remove goop? I guess it does in this one instance. It's not usually how that works. But I'll take it to save the Deku boy. <laughs> oh, they really did come down here. Mr. Hero, Great Deku Tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest. Yeah, I need my I need my evil potatoes though. Can't carry any more of those. Oh, bows. Up to fourteen damage, no. All right, let's see. I like this Korok Forest so far. We save a Dedeku tree, maybe. Unless he's dead. Oh, Hestu's here now, as well. He's done hanging out at the base. Shalaka! It's you! We meet again! It's been a while, huh? I finally made it on the Korok Forest! The Koroks told me that icky stuff floating in the air was making things weird around here. I'm so happy it's gone and not everyone is better now! Uh, do I have enough? Nah. I do not. I only have eight poops. 
I want to see it. What do you want to see? That's kind of weird, Mr. Korok, sir. Don't just say that in front of me. So wait. Oh yeah, it's like it's all like secluded or anything. Let's see. Mm hmm. Ah, so it is you. Hmm. I must apologize. I'm still quite groggy, as though I am awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. It's been some time since we last spoke. Have you been well? Hmm. Yes, the last time we spoke was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the Master Sword. Oh, we put it away and then we came back? It is good to see you, Princess Zelda of Hyrule and Link. They learned how to do reverb the this time. Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. Go on, then, Link. Draw it once more. <laughs> Just one handed this time. He knows he's strong enough. Deku Tree, thank you so much. <laughs> there is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. It can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. Hmm. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. The sword it's actually the work of just another Link. Kind of. The Master Sword. It would have been awesome if he did that and then it just immediately cut to black instead of doing the slow crossfade thing or the vignette. But the sword, it would seem that you no longer wield it. Where has it gone? What's this then? Do you not know where the master sword is? I see. Yet. Sh I guess, should I do the reverb? They did the reverb. Yes. I can sense it. even now. There can be no mistake. It's here. Wait, isn't that like some of the Zonai ruins? Hmm. In the sky. I feel the Master Sword's presence strongly in this area. Why is the cursor slowly drifting? What the fuck is this, Joy-Cons? But what could this mean? The Master Sword seems to be moving. Oh, I see. You may need to be resourceful to reach this sword, but you must find a way. Surely the Master Sword is a way to you, just as you are seeking it. Look at that art. Oh my god. Holy shit. A great tree spirit who has st stood long vigil over Korok Forest and the sword that seals the darkness. An old friend of Princess Zelda and Link. He gently guided their efforts against the calamity. To the Koroks living in the forest. He's both a father figure and a home. Don't you love living inside of your dad? Don't take that out of context. And now that I said to don't take that out of context, they will take that out of context. Yeah, the first memory. They grab that, then they go down. 
I see. Well. You can't go past here. Hey, no going past here. Oh, well, you're Hylians. Well, since you're not a Korok, I guess I don't need to stop you. There's a thing beyond here that I can't stop thinking about. I want to go check it out again. You know the thing that showed up in the Korok forest? I saw something similar to that, but it looked kind of different. But when I tried to go back to it, there were a bunch of monsters coming out of the woodwork. Tree monsters and bone monsters. So I'm keeping my guard down here to warn other Koroks in case it's real dangerous. I'm not about to stop any Hylians, Hylians who are feeling brave. Just be careful. Fuck you. Oh, and uh, the flowers there are to help keep you... To help keep you from getting lost. So don't go picking them. None shall pass? Was this the one where you had to like follow the magnesis? Iron in the mouth? But no. Well, I kind of already know who this one is, right? This is, uh... Oh, wait. Is it this one? I guess we're heading up in that direction, so yeah. I don't like you very much, I've got to say. I've got to say, I really wish I had some goddamn uh, arrows right now. I don't have to, like, actually kill them, no. Oh, this is the one where you followed the the Korok fucker, I think. Except it's... I don't think it's the same path. And I guess one of them has the stone. I don't fast travel here, no? Seek the crystal. Yep. Um, well, that was easy. That's a stone talus, though. <laughs> yeah. I guess, uh, is that his weak spot? Lurker in the Lost Woods. I think I've got a few of those in my chat room. Lurkers in the Lost Woods. Fifty-four shit heart. Also, I could have used this. Huh. Easy shrine. The defense up was still happening from Ganon as well, so there is that. Very good. Grow to shrine, which will be a blessing. <gasps> hey, I was able to come here thanks to you. Actually, I secretly followed you. I was a little scared because of the monsters, but I managed because of you. I killed like one of them. <laughs> ran away but it seems like it's shaped differently than i saw before i wonder who moved such a big boulder how strange did you are you sure you followed me because you would have saw that it was me i i did that that's me yes very good raru's blessing thanks raru always coming in clutch diamond Gotta love me some diamond. Wonder if there's like champion weapons in this. Merge those with diamonds? Oh. <laughs> then you're really looking at power. Now I've got your power. Alright, so the Master Sword is down south. 
Uh, it's in the sky as well, which is big. Big if true. But I now know this. I wonder if anyone actually... Surely they have, or maybe it doesn't happen until you get the quest, but... Oh, it seems like it's actually constantly on the move. Oh, I bet it's that fucking dragon. The light dragon probably has it, right? Which I'm assuming is Zelda somehow, but I don't know. Anyways. They were talking about eating the stones, becoming dragon, he's stone stone. Stone stone. But we shall see. Well, I no longer think that there will be a, um... This, this whole side tangent turned into not a dungeon happening, but next time, there will be a dungeon. Maybe. Well, shit, next time I play the game, I don't think I'm going to be streaming for too long. I think it's like a two-hour block, so... I need help. You! This is perfect. I've got a favor to ask. Some of the Koroks have had stuff on their mind lately. Follow the lights in the forest. If you do, you'll come across different Koroks who could use your help. Yo, is that Peaks? Yo, Peaks! Good evening! Everything in Korok Forest is just the best, huh? I'm so happy I made it back. I think I might just lounge around the forest for a while. Chio told me that a monster was in the Great Deku Tree's tummy, making trouble. Everything seems okay now, but... Maybe I should double check around him to make sure nothing bad's lurking around every anymore. Yeah. Oh, you want to talk to the Drake Daddy Tree? Just head up this route. Okay, yeah, I know about that. Oh, we've got shops here. Oh, arrows, arrows. Thought you guys don't have need for my rupees, by the way. What the fuck? You guys don't sell butter here as well? And this is the bed. Uh, oh, here we go. Definitely buy those. No! Nope. I wanna buy them. <laughs> you changed your mind? Well, that's okay. This is a free bed. Uh, it's the morning. I don't really need to do this, but let's sleep till morning. It's six fifty-five p.m. Well, now it's five a.m. Good fucking nap. You br grab breakfast next door. Where? Not over here. <laughs> That's gone. Where? Where's breakfast? Unless you mean like I can buy it from this dude. I'm not buying shit. I wonder if there's anything... ...down there anymore. there. I wonder if that can be used to ascend back to the top of the tree. Probably. Without needing to travel. If you're doing a no fast travel run, you can still play this game and come into this area. It'll be fine.
I'm going through the Deku Tree's brains. Huh? Oh, I'm in his mouth. No, Tachi! Each element has been placed just so! Okay, what is this? Huh, I've been spotted! I wonder how you got in here. Well, guess what? We're in the Great Deku Tree's mouth! And guess what else? I'm putting together a secret room here. I know I'm fixing up the decor, but I need more pretty things. Four blue nightshades that glow gently at night and two really vivid bright bloom seeds. The bright bloom seeds, I'm looking for something bigger than what you can find in the general shop. That's all I need to finish my super secret room. Uh. Wait, do I actually have the stuff? I don't know if I do. I would waste this Korok's time. Hey, thank you. Hang on, I'll set up the decorations real quick. I guess I did. See, look, now my secret room's all done. So pretty! Thank you, take this! <laughs> Korak fabric. I was thinking I'd lay this on the floor like a rug, but you can have it. Now I can enjoy my secret room, and it's thanks to you, Mr. Hero. This place had some pretty bad breath earlier, too. Yeah. It's a secret to everyone, he says, that I built the r room here. I wonder how I can get out of here when I want to go play. No grabbing the silent princesses. I'm sure I was trying to. All right, let's see what's in his eyes. Nothing. He doesn't have eyes. What are you doing? Mm. Walton. That's a great name for one of these. Did I do it? Did I hide the things enough? <gasps> oh, Mr. Hero, is that you? You see, I wanted to play with everyone by making them hunt for treasure. So I hid stuff around the Great Deku Tree. But I want to make sure I hid things well enough, so I need someone to test it out. I don't want to ruin for the other Koroks. <gasps> Since it's for the other Koroks, you're the only one who can help me with this, so thanks! First two hidden trailer treasures are a forest dweller's sword and a forest dweller's spear. I hid their high up, I hid them higher up on the Great Deku Tree's face. If you find them, bring them to me. Fucking Walton, hell yeah. There's one of them. Fuck yeah, Walton. All my homies love Walton. like it even this has been a uh, thing bursting materials attached to the tip can be reused again and again hmm but yeah this one's decayed as well it's kind of cheating <laughs> they kind of glow in the dark a little bit very good What is this? Just one nut? No! Alright. The look on your face can mean just one thing! 
You found them, haven't you? Ha <laughs> ha! You found both! So how was it? How was it hard? Was it hard? It was. It was hard, huh? Thank you, Mr. Hero. This is useful info. Oh, yeah, you can keep what you found as a gift. Okie dokie. There's just one simple round, one more simple round to this treasure hunt. That's right. Time for round two. Next, find me a forest dweller shield. It's hidden on the de great Deku tree, but this time below his face. It's not hidden on the ground or in his navel. I wonder if you'll find it this time. Hmm. Of course I know where it is, Walton. It's right here. There it is. It's, um... It's right here, Walton. Of course it is. It's below his face, meaning it's on one of the roots, right? It's not on the ground. It's not in his navel. It's act like one of the Koraks is wearing it like a mask. Actually, they've replaced their face with it. Their leaf face. Didn't Midna do that in Twilight Princess? <laughs> Not like replace a leaf face, but like she wore a shield on her face. Pretty sure she did that. I'm a resident Midna expert, okay? It's below his face. Well, of course, it's right here below his face. Literally below his lips. So wait, if you were to climb like this... Yeah, you can kind of see in there. I'm pretty sure there was still a room in there in Breath of the Wild, but there was nothing in there. There's no way to get to it. There's nothing in there. Grab? Oh, that's just the default command. I thought it was like, yes, the shield's right there. Do you not see it? Oh, I was about to be, you fucking liar that is on the ground. <laughs> Has to. Unfortunately, well, I don't have the sensor anyways, but I was going to say, unfortunately, I have not found one of those shields yet. I want to see it. Ah, Mr. Hero, thanks for making Korok Forest normal again. Do you have a minute, Mr. Hero? I've got something I'd like to ask you. Sure. Yeah. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Hero. You see, I have my, f I have a friend who says they saw a big whirly circle. They say they saw it in an area with water. If it's really real, I want to see it myself. Even a picture would do. It's too dangerous to leave here. So please make it safe out there soon, okay? Whirly swirly things. I, I, I actually don't know what the fuck he's, he's on about. It's not on the ground. Not on the ground. It's not on the ground. There's egg in this tree. Is this a shield? I think I found it. Wonderful. Oh, you found your tree. Found your shield, Mike. Seeing it here. All right, so it's not just like on one of his roots. Just kind of weird to think about. I'm just like climbing all over this dude. 
Like, this is, in all intended purposes, a guy. The great Deku guy. Or as some people have pronounced it, Deku. Yeah, I like Deku from My Hero Academia. And there's a, uh, and that other guy from that show, I think his name was Alright. He's just alright. He's doing okay. This shield is a myth. This is... In all intended purposes, the... Um, the same as, uh... The cookbook. In, uh... Breath of the Wild. Also known as not real. Good to see the frame rates are still frame rates over here. Why is Hestu not in the Hestu spot though? This is still very clearly the Hestu location. Yo, where are you going? I wonder if you can like exit the woods normally now. Hestu! Have you seen any fucking wooden shields? I'm losing my goddamn mind looking for this thing. Also, I have heard that the, um... Ah, oh, I found it. I have heard that the Hero's Path thing is in this game. Uh, but it's a... You have to do a side quest? No idea where the side quest is. But whenever I look at Hero's Quest, uh, Hero's Path for this, it's just gonna be me circling the Great Deku Tree 800 times. Can't drop while I'm climbing. That's dumb. Why? I'm standing! Back up we go. <laughs> Good enough. Swim all the way up. That was not where I was hoping to pop out. I thought I was gonna go through the mouth. Oof. I recognize that look from anywhere. <laughs> you found the Forest Dweller's shield too! With that, the treasure hunt is over. How was it? Was it hard? That one was very hard. Hmm, hard you say. Maybe I should choose an easier spot then. Thank you for the useful info, Mr. Hero. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'll give you the Forest Dweller's shield you found. Also take this as a thank you too. Oh, your bow stash is full. If you make space in your pouch, come see me again. God damn it. This fucker. Forest Dweller's bow. Did you make space in your bow stash? Your pouch is full, I can't give it to you. Oh, this is a good bow too. The Koroks made this bow for Hylians. It's crafted from flexible wood and uses sturdy vines for the bowstring. I prepared this prize in case you found everything, which you did. Thank you for helping me make my treasure hunt the best it can be, Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero! Um... Yeah, that's a good bow. At some point, I gotta go to fucking Hateno, though, as well. So that way I can... get a house. Um, so there is a shrine here, a shrine to the south. Let's go to this one next.
believe. Will this be the path? No. That's like out the way you come. Right? Whoa! Just overtaken by light. Where is this? Oh, it's just a few steps back. A tree looks like it has a secret in it, but it does not. Ah, uh, this is the way. Here we go. Oh, it's another one of these. Carry the shrine. Let me guess, while, while dodging incoming things, this is going to be like the wood trial. That green color, this stone's so pretty. I found it myself. I want it. Huh? You can't have it. No, no, I found it. Hmm. But if you do something for me, maybe I'll consider it. Sure. Okay, the thing is, I love golden apples, and a pretty stone is pretty, but I can't really eat it. So if you bring me five golden apples, I'll trade you one pretty stone. Keep following this path and go real super far on it. You'll find a big bog called Mito Swamp, and there on the north side of the bog are trees where golden apples grow. But there have been monsters recently, so I'm going to pick them is hard now. Oh, oh yeah. Also, the bog is bottomless, so don't fall in. As long as they're golden apples, I don't care where you get them. So please, bring me five golden apples. Golden apples, huh? Welcome to Minecraft, bitch. Get those fucking notch apples. <laughs> Tomat. Focus, camera. Camera, focus. Tomat. That's a good Tomat photo. What is that? Oh, it's a fire keys. Oh, yep. We're going through all this again, huh? Ah! Awful. Awful creatures. Thankfully, navigating the f this part of the forest isn't too bad. Oh! Wait, does he have a moblin horn on the end of that? Ow. Yo, friendly fire. I'll take that. Moblin arm. I'll get a photo later. Rusty broadsword. Ah! Shocked like. That's a better photo. Actually. Kind of like the uh, the action shot more. Now keep this. <laughs> Very good. Yep. Regular ass boomerang. Okay. With the regular ass. You still shooting me? Oh, we're getting shot at from fuckers now as well. Ah. Good. Should've just done that from the get-go. Where'd the other thing go? Oh! Nice block!
Just the forest. Everything. It's fine. I'm doing it for the greater good. I'm doing it for golden apples. Uh oh. Fucker. Son of a bitch, don't spawn camp my ass. <laughs> he gets up and stares at me like, what the fuck? feeling <laughs> the game does not like how I have approached this situation it does not it does not appreciate it very much success is success and that's all I care about I'm perishing. Uh, chest over there? I could also, like... <laughs> That's one way to do that. Giant bright bloom seed times ten. That is such a busted ability. <laughs> if gravity is about to not work for you, just, you know, reverse it until you get across the gap. And there are other things out in the trees as well. Cork mask originally was kind of found in a situation like this. Probably wear Cork mask as a case. What is that under the ground? Oh, that's the the rod. Oh, I can get it. Oh, no, you can't. Golden apple, huh? Oh, look at that. That's a good photo. They both were sparkling. Rare, very sweet full fruit that seems to have an extra sparkle to it. Sometimes found near normal apples. I'm sure cooking them like five is like the ultimate dish or something, right? I guess if you ever want golden apples, this is a guaranteed spot for them. Is that a blood moon? Oh, it's just the sun. <laughs> it's 12 p.m. Calm down. The shrine is gone from over here, though. That's the real kicker. No more shrine. You could just fast travel back. In fact, you probably should. However, I have my way. And as we've stated, it's my way or the highway. Like when you get caught on beans? Whoa, wait a minute. Chest over there. See? Now, if you would have just teleported back. If I would have just done that, wouldn't have saw that chest. It's going to have 10 rupees in it. If even. I don't even think 10 rupees are a thing in Breath of the Wild. 
Yellow rupees. Ten arrows. You know what? That's more valuable than ten rupees. That normally costs like fucking like twenty. Octorok goop down there. The fact that you can just oh undo your own <laughs> like moving it with the hand is incredible. The fact that that is stored in its memory. I gotta say, I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of, of this skill issue, however. Because I think I'm trapped on Bean Island right now. Wait. Beat him. It's been discovered. Easy. No need for any of that shit. It's a new game. New game is gonna be the game that coming out in 2023. I was about to collect those apples too. Here we go again. Probably should eat. Ah, well, this is about to be a blessing. It'll heal me. Alright, now give me your fucking stone. Give me your stogie. I got five golden apples, so you get one pretty stone. Did you know there's a god inside of this stone? What a fucking shit trade you just made. It's gonna tell me about the stone, which is right there. I, I know where the crystal is. I know where it is. Believe it or not, it's right fucking there. It's right there. It's, it does. That was where the stone was. <laughs> Didn't even have to move. Yes. Open the goat. Open the goat door. Think about it. He is a goat, Raru. So when we say he's goat seeing, it just he's seeing with his eyes because he's a goat. He's visualizing as a goat. Mm hmm. I'm going to, uh, Oh, you can't take those out here. I was gonna say, I was gonna attach a shock emitter to that. Get a nice shock weapon, but I did also just get a, uh, I just got a shock uh, magic rod. So, one more, and that gets me another heart. Yes, I'm going for another heart. Honestly, stamina feels less worth it in the sun. Because you can just get over the climbing. That's why I wanted it the most in uh, Breath of the Wild was climbing. You can get around climbing by just getting underneath things. Um, nice music. This 
doggy has left. Yeah, dragon is... Yeah, that is definitely... I don't... There don't seem to be moving too fast, so by like another hour from now... Actually... Oh, they're probably heading over this way. I was gonna say, I might be able to intercept them. I just gotta come into contact with the dragon, which I think will pass over the islands directly over Korok Forest. The only other one is directly south. Which I think he just might be able to get to... If you head... Well, directly to the south exit. Unless... This is it? I'm pretty sure this is the path... That I took. Wait. Was this the path that I took to get up here? I don't actually know. I'll go see how it's going. Nope, this is the one. It's been a while, so maybe you should see how it's going over there. Over there? Up ahead, there's a special place just for Maka. In the forest, there's a wide open space. And right in the middle, there's a green swirl. And you can see an island floating in the sky from there. Maka loves that place. Oh, but since it's covered in lost fog, only Koroks can go there. They so can't come with me. But, I'll tell you where to find it. Can you show me your map? It's here! He can see an island floating in the sky from there. I wonder if he could see into the forest from that sky island, too. So wait. You are supposed to dive onto this one? Because I've got a shrine here. If I can just dive onto it, because I definitely have noticed this shrine. And I tried diving to it, but I missed. <laughs> Maybe it will work. Now that I have permission from the quest. So I gotta see what's on Makar Island. Yeah, so that dragon... Where is it, anyways? Above it? Below it? I don't know. I'm apparently looking at it. It's like directly in front of me somewhere. Can't tell because the sky is too orange. Yeah, now, now we can glide there. Now that we've eliminated the dark fog. Ninjis? Yo, from Mario 2? I love ninjis. Easy shrine. I actually kind of like that one, though. It incentivizes you to go to the sky if you haven't been up there already. Should have definitely been able to get this before the fog was there, though. Or before we lifted the fog, even. Alrighty. Oh, that's another heart. Okay, well, with that, I've more or less cleared out Korok Forest. Done the quests. Yo, what up, homie? Oh, you found this place, even though you're not a Korok! Wow! This is the special place that I, 
Maka found. Maka likes to come here alone sometimes. Didn't think I'd find someone else here. Mike, can you see my fucking face? Of course I'm a coral. Oh, that's the island you can see. I was like, you can't see very much islands from here. Um... Which direction is is the dragon moving right now? Oh, it's going north. Maybe I can intercept it from this tower. Tower sounds like power. Ricky prefers sweet. Link, I turned myself into a fucking dragon. It hurts, Link. It hurts a lot. There it is. Do I have stamina food? I don't think I do. We'll make some. Who's that? Covers a surprising amount of hearts. I didn't remember elixirs recovering any hearts before. <laughs> Alright, Endura Carrot. Endura Shroom. Uh, I don't have a lot, I don't think, that I can use for this. Um, stamina recovery. Well, that's not maximum limit. That's just, you know, stamina recovery. Where's the Earl? Oh, I'm out of Earl. Alright, and that's the last of the pots I've got. So, we're at the make do. Where'd the dragon go? Where did the dragon go? They were right here, weren't they? I'm looking at them, apparently. Uh. Well, the fuck I'm not. Oh, there they are. Kind of moving kind of randomly, it seems. Are they actually heading towards... I think I can actually intercept if I go here instead. Because they, they seem to be moving in this direction. I'm sure there's like an easier way to, to get this later in the game or something, but I'm a bit curious. And before they're like 13 hearts before you can even approach the dragon. Okay, right, so they should be in front of me-ish. Over there, yep. I like that the dragons seem to uh, not despawn and they're like constantly active. So what I'll do when I run low on stamina is I will just take the potion. That should fix my problem. Assuming I don't fall too much before making it there. I seem to be dropping in altitude. Full stamina recovery plus more. I 
we got this. It's a cool looking dragon. I wish I could get a photo of it. It's probably going to despawn after I do this. Hopefully not. It's going to be the Master Sword on its head, isn't it? Fucking deer dragon. Sure as fuck is. <laughs> yeah, thirteen hearts. Oh, it's stamina base this time? That I wasn't expecting. Huh. You have a horn? Light Dragon Horn. Horn chipped off the Light Dragon. Its gentle glow has a calming effect. It has a mysterious healing power when attached to a weapon. Only one for now. Fucking crazy that this is up here. That's actually kind of cool as shit, though. Just lodged in this thing's skull. <laughs> what a fucking shot. I like this photo. Because now when I look at it on the compendium... Now you get the full thing. <laughs> but also just the icon for it is just this. Light Dragon. Recoverable materials unknown. Spirit has taken the form of this giant dragon inhibiting the upper reaches of the skies. It's named for its shining golden mane and gleaming scales. Looks divine as it soars through the sky giving off a soft glow. Its presence is comforting somehow. Nice and, you know, nice to me as well. Slightly better photo. The eyes are more centered. Well... I guess I'm spending that on stamina instead. Not what I was expecting. Walk along this dude back. Oh, hey. Shard of Din of Light Dragon Spike. No. Nope. I'll take a photo later. Oh, wait. Take a photo right here. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's all considered light dragon. Well, that makes collecting these easier. You don't have to shoot an arrow at it. You can just climb its back if you want the spikes. Which is good, because this was where the, uh, you know, that one thing that I had was saying. <laughs> you ever wrangled with a, with a dragon before? I don't think you had. But now you can wrangle with dragon whenever you want. Right. 
dragon right now. Can I get a claw from it? Also by just like, you know, hanging out? Uh, I think I go through the claws. Yeah, claws you go through. All right. Well, this is cool. You can see a lot more of Hyrule from up here, too. All right, dragon friend. I'll go do my own thing now. Farewell. So I see lots of shrines that could be gone and gotten. This is the one I will seek. Is this shallow enough? Oh yeah, that was gonna be really shallow. Where's my fucking horse? Oh. Over there. Uh, you guys didn't hear that. Well, time to wander a bit. That whole Korok forest stuff was really cool, though. Um. Yeah, even though we didn't get... We're probably not getting to a dungeon today. I'll... I'll approach... I'll approach the Goron area. We're gonna definitely do Goron. First. Thought about it. I was like, yeah. That, uh... That bird area will probably be most helpful. We'll do that one second. Just cause, yeah, this is- this is what- this is what I wanna do. Probably look over here for Koroks. No Korok here. What was that noise? Oh. Master Sword letting out a very cool light on that thing's head. A regular camp. Oh, he scratches his ass and his armpits. This is probably the one side of the map that I didn't explore a lot of when I uh, first played the game. Like this field here and like this area. It's probably the least explored area of Hyrule for me. But it's just like more like open field. Oh, especially like actually, especially this. Like yeah, yeah, just like behind Hyrule Castle. This whole area, I would say, it was seldom touched by me. Somewhere around here. I see the signs. They are pointing. They're pointing to like... Here? Yeah. Thank you, Korok Mask. This, this area always just felt like empty to me. Also, wait a minute. There was definitely a stable here. Is that the dragon making that glimmering noise or is there something else? I do remember that. There was a stable here, but the stable's gone. Huh? 
weird. Like, yeah, that's the area right there with the cl with the clearing in the trees. Have we spoke before? Yep. Thank you. Ah! Hmm! Ah! Hmm! Ah! Hmm! I've determined I'll probably be skipping some of the, uh... Regular NPC dialogue. Just like the wandering ones. Better picture. Uh-oh. What? What is this shit? <laughs> I have a fucking wandering cart. Fuck you. Haunts. That's not my haunts. It's just a regular ass haunts with a cart. No glue. It's just attached. You're free now. <laughs> That's one way to get into the back. Throw. That is what I shall do. That. I'm sure the, uh, the cart that you have to pull is not helping with your speed being this kind of slow, but it's just faster than just wandering on foot. There really doesn't seem to be a whole lot out on this side of Hyrule. Especially when there's not a stable over here. Just a random shrine in the middle of fucking nowhere. The best you get. Kiyu Yoyu. Kiyu Yoyu. Puff. Get that huff huff with the puff puff. Fire and ice. Here we go with this again. But this time, I can actually pick up the ice blocks and melt them directly. Very good. That makes me so happy. See if there's anything up there. Oh, I see. If you want to give it a little bit of melting so it fits. Gaming. Uh... Oh, hey. But you also wanted to keep it big enough that you could do this. Joke's on you. Leaving it in there would have been a waste of my time anyways. We should merge some weapons here. How about...
All right, cool. Mighty Zonite Sword Spear. Very good. Force Spear Sword. And then, of course. that happen? <laughs> Ice Spear! <laughs> that works. Excuse me? The ice didn't fully melt. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. It really does not like me trying to put that under there. I'm doing with this, but back over here, looking around. All right, now, now we go. No, we don't. Bone. Um, <laughs> so why did I bring this over here? Oh, I know why. Because we needed this as a shield. In order to lay down the big boat. B. The chests. I guess I'm getting uh, stamina. The the breath of the wild devs were like, yeah, listen, we knew last time, you know. Hearts were more, were, were better, or stamina was better in the last game uh, than hearts in a lot of cases. So we decided, oh, this horse is still here. This is just my horse now. It's dragging this thing, but it's my horse now. <laughs> um. But yeah, the devs were like, yeah, we, we know. We know. Yeah. Is this a fucking malice? Well, wait a minute. This isn't an entrance to the to hell, is it? What the fuck?
another fucking place. Well, now I'm back down here again. And I wasn't even trying to get down here. Nice well. Oh, there's a Korok forest over there. Uh. Oh, hey. I wonder. We need to take pictures of this for Joshua. There are two pole souls out there. So, let me guess. There's going to be a big wall right over here, right? Uh. Oh, they're eating it. <laughs> I guess... It's a little far away. But yeah, that's like a that's like a hole into the ground. So over there is gonna be a big wall. I'm betting. Oh cool. That has connected back there. Is that another Colosseum? I did say there were multiple of them. A few of those statues down this way, too. Yeah, looks like there is a wall over there. Right on the money about the inverse theory, it seems. Wait, no, this is it. What is this? There's actually just nothing here. What is this? Well, it's not. Um, it's not the the bad, the the bad soup. I don't know what this is actually. Huh. Also, what am I looking at? Like a thing that goes up into the sky right there. Looks like it's underneath the Forgotten Temple. Is that a ship? Or no, that's just like a tr one of those trees. Okay. I thought that was like the like the mast of a ship. I haven't found more of those, uh... The Gentleman. As we'll call them. Guess if I keep heading in this direction, we will eventually find that shrine in its inverse location. We will have to go... Downhill? Get there? Oh, I love this spear. It's a great spear. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit. It's gone. It melted. Fair enough. Uh. They're quick to break. This is good if you're at your last heart. That's, that's just going to be a throwing weapon. Alright. You boys ready for combat?
Uh oh. We're getting some classic yeeting happening. A little bit of some friendly yeet. Thank God for the Hylian shield. Uh. Let's go ahead and fuck him up with the stone talus hammer. Oh shit. Did two hearts. Yo, double throw. <laughs> oh, miss kick. Now I've got your horn. I can do the, sh the shitty horn dudes now. I wonder if there's an upper limit to how many of these I can hold on to. I wanna wait, cause I'm sure if I find another one of those uh, po things, be able to get something good. Is there another moblin? Uh, there's a bokoblin that just didn't notice all the altercation that went down. Still don't know what zonite's really good for either. You can't really, um, mass produce the crystal charges things yet, it seems. Which is what I thought this stuff was going to be good for. Maybe there's more constructs on sky islands that'll tell me about it. I don't know. Mini talus over here. A weapon. <laughs> Tech up. You get some good weapons down here. Everything on the surface sucks. Down here, on the road, not too bad. Do I have one of these. Like picture. I do. Seems large. I saw this area is peculiar, isn't it? Wait, no, this is where the stable was. Because it was like covered in, uh, you know, it was surrounded by trees. So even the trees are like one to one down here. It seems. Right, we're gonna put this on. I'm sure once I get up here, everything will be great. 
I will have not wasted my time at all by climbing this. Definitely not. Especially... Not. It won't happen. There, there is no wasting your time when climbing these trees. See, look at that. That's not a waste. seems I would uh, benefit from getting a shrine at the bottom of the uh, chasm for uh, getting on top of this wall. No! Oh, damn it. I hit B. I still don't know what's going on over there either. We got another sh uh, Yiga fucker. Banana fickers. Banana fickers. Uh, that's, that's Ganon down there. wonder if I'll actually be able to get a map of that area if I get all the shrines around it. I saw a bud in the distance over that way. That is... I've been to that shrine. It's not actually the closest one to me, I don't think. Wait. Is that glowing because of me? Path over there. Um, what? This tree? Oh, the tree is fucked. Don't touch that tree. I still don't know what these statues are about either. Look at him drive. You know what? Last time I, I did this like a coward. Where is this in the overworld? Salari Hill. Hmm. Could build. Or I could just take this dude on head on. Oh, oh they have lasers. Wait, what are they piloting? What is this thing? Oh, it's like, uh... It's like floating in the air. Good. Oh, you know what I just wondered? You remember there was like a big hole in the ground over here? I wonder if that is just one of the entrance points. Like, not just the hole that Koga fell into, but um, also the hole that was like around that tower. Because you can't really do bottomless pit when you have this whole area down here. I mean, I guess you could void us out, but it'd be weird. So it's, it's probably a passage down into here, too. 
What's this have to say? Recently, Master Koga has been devoted to studying an amazing new power. It's rumored that this power can make new vehicles in an instant. Imagine the time his wisdom will save. Easing our exploration of the depths is worth the momentary diversion from Master Koga's primary goal. He sent a team to the abandoned mine in the depths under South Hyrule Field to follow a lead about this miraculous power. If Master Koga's predictions are correct, constructing machines in the dark depths will become so much simpler. Glory to Master Koga. South Hyrule Field, huh? I guess there ish. I mean, glad that the banana fuckers can still thrive down here. They're allowed to continue living. I don't, I don't mind. Just stop, you know, hurting us. Stop harassing Hyrule, and we're fine. You guys can live down here. If you guys enjoy it down here, then by all means. Who am I to tell you no? Other than Link, I guess. Pilot this? Oh, hey. Dumbass. It kind of lost its uh, laser. But it's got a control deck. Um. Very good. <laughs> Not much to control. Well, that sounds handy, though, what the book said. That would be real nice to just... I guess that's what these uh, schematics are for, then. Just to instantly construct certain things. It would certainly make um, me use the building a bit more, I would say. I don't know if I can, like, make my own schematics or not, but... I drive a car more frequently if I could not have to spend a million years to build one. Sure. Yeah. Literally 230 of these. A rock has been sitting there. Let's rewind it. The other bud should be... There it is. Let's say nearby. Um... Oops. Oh. Get all this area lit up. So I'm gonna imagine I need two stamina wheels to pull the blaster sword. Or maybe you need all three. I mean, three stamina wheels is not as much as uh, maxing out your hearts. I think it's five per tier. There are ruins in this sector. Uh... Yeah. It's also... 
some kind of swamp thing happening here. In the knolls. I don't remember if there's any shrines back here or not. There might be like one that you have to like spawn up. I guess that would be a bit close for the map though down here. They seem to have them fairly well spaced so that way you know they like there's definitely a shrine somewhere here maybe. Maybe? I don't know. So somewhere around here there's got to be something because uh unless this Unless that green one and then this equate to filling in around the Hyrule Castle on this side. I guess I'll head towards that uh, green one then. I, well, actually I want to see what's up with these mines over here first. I think it would be cool if while you were down here, you could find like the divine beasts. Like, let's say we reburied them or something, I don't know. Inactive, but would be cool. But then again, at the same time, might be a bit too samey. But just like, you know, like how Xenoblade gets away with like having small little like, oh shit, that's the Mechanis hand. Or Metal Gear Solid has all of Shadow Moses. Like, oh shit, that's sh the Shadow Moses. <laughs> just like, I don't know, having a couple of guardians or something down here. Like, they, they just straight up fucking vanished. And it seems really weird to me. If we didn't employ, like, a few of them. Yeah, your amiibo gear can still be found down here as well. If that's the case, I got all these amiibos sitting in front of me. I might just not scan them. Oh, shit. Oh, that's, uh, that's the other one. There's another hole over here, right? Can't explore too much of the underground thunder area. Here's what I'm going to do. I think I will probably be ending real soon, though. I'm going to go... Here's what we're going to do. Next time... <laughs> next time, we're definitely going to do a dungeon. Or, well... Like I said before, I don't know if I can guarantee that. <laughs> but we're going to uh, focus on being in the area of dungeons. So, we're going to go to Death Mountain. More or less. Yo, it's Mewtwo. Found me two statue over here. Um, you guys want to come over here so I can cross the goop? Help me cross this goop. Scoot the horse. I probably can still spook them. Yep, they're they're more or less just wild horses. Scoot the variant. Yeah, there's something else going down going on down here in the depths entirely, it seems. I will say it does feel quite a bit samey aesthetically, like this whole depths is the same vibe. Maybe it's just because of the areas I've explored, maybe it changes. I don't know. I guess I haven't explored underneath Gerudo. I guess, you know, I saw underneath Death Mountain was pretty lava. So. Maybe. It was pretty lava, he says. Alright. Um. Yeah, I, I want to, like, connect these zones, I think. And then that's what I'm gonna... Where I'm gonna end for today. 
I also don't think there's any Koroks down here at all. I think the schedule says I'm just going to go till 10, but admittedly I'm getting a little hungry. And... Yeah. I just feel I just I just feel like that could be a good idea. Maybe it will be hard to pull away from the game, but uh I'll probably play this some more tomorrow. Like not on stream, but like off stream. Explore around a bit. I'll pro I might even do an offline recording. Won't make any progress towards the dungeon. Except for maybe exploring around the Death Mountain areas. But like, I won't go anywhere near Goron City. I'll just like do shrines and stuff and shit around Elden. And then, yeah, next time we play, I'll be able to focus just solely story. Go to Goron City. I guess it's entirely possible I might accidentally run out of, run into story, but I'm gonna say probably Goron City and Death Mountain Crater are where I want to avoid. Cause Death Mountain Crater is surely like where the dungeon is. I'm assuming there's two sky dungeons, two underground ones. At minimum. If there are not more, because didn't seem like there was much of a dungeon associated with Korok Forest, so that's more or less expected. This is cool looking though. You're seeing a complete inversion of the world itself. Just, yeah. A little more visual variety would have gone a long way for me. Hello. Oh, it's another one of these. Well, I see my next destination. Whoa. What am I looking at over there? I didn't feel like walking all the way around. What is that over there? Fuck. That is in relation to... A random fucking part of the plane? Uh... Know what that has to do with anything, but okay. Let's get this first. Kawani's. All right, let me see something else. Also, while I'm down here, down here. Just want to see. Also, I'm probably not going to be able to get over there, aren't I? There is a water in the way, unless there is a way to cross the water. That is like a whole separate section. Which begs the question, how would you get to this light route? This is on an island. Surely there's going to be some way to get there. Maybe that tower is how you do it. Get across the, the rivers. Where'd it go? This thing was blocking the way. Ah! Uh, I don't know what that is. Boss. Oh, that's a... Inox. Oh, it's another thing like Korok Forest. For getting up. Uh, I guess it's for just like traversal. 
<laughs> sliding down. And yeah, I'm not gonna like attack you or anything, bro. Just he's just observing. That's all. Bye. <laughs> You gotta make me swim through all this. Alright. It's just some random ass fucking cliff, huh? Hmm. Let me travel here. Work my way north. I have to see if. Like, there's gonna be a path or some sort. Maybe directly under the bridges. There are ways to cross the rivers here as well. Can't just climb yourself out of a situation here, though. North. I think I did technically go in this direction initially. But then it got dark. It's so fucking dark. Uh, there's a light root thing over there. Say so what up, homie? Thank you. I don't think I laid those down. I might have, actually. Wait, does it act? Oh, it actually... Yeah, I definitely went up and around that way when I was exploring around. Here I was thinking that this shit would despawn. It seems the game fucking just remembers. That is so bizarre to me. How is it able to do that? Like, eventually, it's got to unload for, like, memory reasons, you would think. But, no. Seems like it's doing fine. I'm going to go way north. to that shrine and then honestly we're probably gonna run into wherever the fuck Ganon is again but we'll see like it from the outside I guess surely somewhere down here there's gonna be like a barrier cause Ganon himself is not actually under Hyrule he's like here-ish if I recall cause like the when you look at the flags down here like the last location yeah it shows you where you last were. Which is kind of ha handy. For when you're exploring this place. Separately. I do kind of wish... I had another horse down here though. Other than Skuta horse. We should check out Lookout Landing, see if anything's changed since I've explored so much down here. It is entirely possible. Really? I still don't know if that red beacon is actually on a shrine or if that was me misplacing it trying to pin the shrine that I've already been to. I haven't explored that area since, so... That's the... That's the Hyrule Castle one.
Oh shit, Pete's playing Animal Crossing New Hort. Got that new Hort. Where is this one? It's up on a hill-ish in the overworld, so it's down in a little pit. In this. There's a lot of bad news bears over here. Is that it? I think that is. Yeah, if I had another one of those skeleton horses, this would be fine. Unfortunately, I don't. Problem is, they can all see me. Maybe if I don't keep them on my screen, they won't see me. Right, my glowing has gone away. Uh-oh. Yep, down in a little pit. Hang on, I want to see. If you look at the shrine, Isho Dog, and then this is, I think this is the inverse of it. Like the same word, but backwards. Also, it does look like there is no way to cross. But there are ruins and shit down there, so. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, like these are being marked on there, but this well wasn't being marked, so may well actually Yes it is. Maybe there is a cave. There there was a cave over here, if I recall correctly. Yeah, those are connected like that. I bet you that's what it is. There's a cave somewhere. And through the cave. Also, is the town itself? Yeah, looks like the town doesn't have anything directly underneath it. Can't say I'm that surprised. I'm getting to the green marker, and then that's it. This is the room where Ganon is. Right here. <laughs> no, it's not. There's lots to explore here. But without any Koroks, I... Don't know if I feel that inclined to, like, comb this place. <laughs> A little bit here and there. I'd say the overworld is more interesting than this. There's just not a lot going on down here. Huck. What is this? Just a hill, I think, in the overworld. Yeah. Castle Town is technically here. Ow. Thankfully, that doesn't actually hurt me. Because, like, it, it's just the max healing. No. No need to continuously eat food. Is that anything? No, it's just Zonite or maybe if I advance the story, um, more stuff will come down here. I don't know. Yeah. 
Good fucking job. Good fucking job. You gave him a weapon. Everyone. Let's go. Oh shit. Uh oh. Piss off. God, so many enemies. I just want this. <laughs> Sino Sinonyok. Hmm. Now you can see the map of the dungeon. Light root dispelled the darkness surrounding the area. So, um, I'm trying to think, what path did I take? There was like a, there was something that went this way, wasn't there? And that was like the staircase down. So it looks like there's a lot more than where I stopped. I don't remember where exactly it was that I stopped, but it was somewhere around there. I think. Hmm. Well, I don't think I can make it to that stuff from here. Yeah, it looks like we go over top of it, and it's actually underneath even further. I was wondering how they would pull that off. Like, was it above? It's actually even further below. Alright, I see one more bud. One more bud down here. Just to further the map. This is interesting. There, there are, like, small little bits that stick out, though, and I don't know what those are. Also, there's definitely a shrine there. Interesting. Interesting that that should be there. off bro you got anything I don't have a photo of oh my god I... what shrine am I even trying to oh probably this one is what I saw it over there? I think so. I'd love to get more glowing gear. That would be best. Based in game? Oh, and there's more horse haunts over here too. Very well. This is where we end. Right here. Oi mate, oi mate, it's the light route in essential high rule depths. All right, well, we now have quite a bit of high rule mapped out down here. Um. That is so interesting. That's so interesting that that is there. Hang on. <laughs> Wait, one more thing. One more thing. 
I have to see. I have to see that shrine. Now that I know it's there. Uh I just have to know now. Shimmy, shimmy, shwag. All right, so that's the hole. But there is no shrine that you can see from here. That does not mean there is not a shrine, however. I haven't looked over there for a, for a light route, but I'm willing to bet. Unless if like this, like these fill it in, but that, that doesn't make sense to me. Somewhere around here, there's going to be a shrine, a hidden one. Maybe it's even under the ground. Uh, a little too close to Korok Forest. Which is weird because I'm not even that close to Korok Forest, but alright. There is a Korok over here, though. This? It's a Korok puzzle? The fuck? It's a separate object. It didn't remember how it got there. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Just elevator myself into it. Interesting Korok puzzle there. I don't think I did any of those in the base game. Jump between trees. Granted, I did not get all the Korok seeds. Not even close. Is that... Motherfucker riding a bear? He sure as fuck is there, partner. Discover this, I guess. Alma Knowles Chasm. Yo, grassy Knowles. I had a teacher whose name was Knoll. Like, that was his first name. It's the only dude I've ever met with that name. his ass cheeks. Good. That even glooms me when I use it against, like, fucking wood. 
I guess it's nothing if not con uh, consistent. Well. This will be the shrine. Oh, hey, golden apple. This one for me. <laughs> Fucking chasm. Uh... They're just fine... Fucking oil reserve. Yeah, there's a shrine down here. This is an interesting way to like discover shrines though. Use the depths to locate them. I kind of like this. I think I had to find a couple of shrines with guides because they were in like hyper specific like bomb the side of this mountain and then suddenly there's a there's a shrine in there. Broadsword. There's the shrine. Can grow on water. <laughs> this is interesting. So I need to build a boat. I'm starting to get real tired though, but uh, I'll make it work. Can't take that out here. Uh oh. We seem to be capsizing. <laughs> we appear to be. I will not I will neither confirm nor deny. It is just a theory. You know, I could do this effect so much better, right? It's not just a theory, it's a green theory. I wonder if this will be a blessing. It's really fucking hidden. Yep. May have been a quest telling you about this. But I... used triangulation from the underground to determine there was a shrine somewhere here. And that technically gives me another well, so... Oh, and if you think this shrine is, like, inconvenient to, like, fast travel to, I mean, maybe a little bit, but, um, 
I mean, getting out of it isn't too bad since you have the teleport to top command. And it's a good source for luminous stones, it appears. Party truffles are down here as well. I was gonna say, I don't think this cave existed in Breath of the Wild. No shit, Sherlock. It's a cave. Caves didn't exist in Breath of the Wild. It's part of the fucking problem. Your gape goes, not ending the stream. Just wanted to kill him. That's all. It's one thing after another. There is no ending a stream when it comes to this game. Okay. I missed a luminous stone. I missed a luminous stone. That's so important. You don't understand how important this is. Really? Not there? It's not a good enough spot. Alright, well this is where I will end for the day. Really. Uh... I, I now have, um... This. Except... Still don't have... Alright, oh wait, wait, one more thing. One more thing. It's gonna be right there, on the other side of this hole. I just need the light for the underground. There is no winning. There is no winning with this game. None. No matter what you do, you never stop playing. It's a good problem to have, I guess? For the game itself. Not at all for my productivity, though. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a Yiga camp. More on that later. I'm legit just here for the bud, and that's it. Which is south. Um... I'm going downhill now. But I'm not going in the right direction. I need to head that way. I think I see it too. Can you shield surf on this? Oh! Uh-oh. Okay, that was just the outer shield. I thought I just lost the Hylian shield. Like without it even warning me. Excuse me, gentlemen. You guys seem to be gatoring around over here. Just figured I'd slip by unnoticed. I fucked up on the unnoticed part, but I'm slipping by for sure. I guess. That's like a fucking sitcom thing. Where it's like they, they run into the wall and, and you're like, oh no! And then they just get back up. It was like a small little ledge to catch them. Yeah. Oh, look at fucking that. Well... I would say this was a very, uh, even though I didn't do anything I set out to do, 
I also did so much that I set out to do. I've got a map of the Hyrule Chasm now in complete or like in full. I mean, um, I can't really read this very well, but I have one. Um, I wonder, are these supposed to be like Hyrule Castle like corridors? Remember, there was, um, there was like a little escape passage that I went through in Hyrule Castle, so maybe? I don't know. But that was like, yeah, that was here. Is that what that is? Well, that might be what those, what these are then. Hmm. So there's more of Hyrule Castle I haven't explored then. Oh, well, it'll be for later. All right, all right, I am done. I am done. I have, I, I have to go. <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching. Um, more of this will be um eventually. Uh, like I said, I might do an offline recording tomorrow uh, for this. So be ready, or if not tomorrow, then maybe Sunday I'll get to it. I don't know. I've got a long stream tomorrow as well. So didn't quite stream till 10 p.m., but that's okay. I still stream for five and a half hours. One of these days, I'm going to do like a seven or eight hour Zelda stream. One of these days. I would like to at least once because I did that for Xenoblade a few times and it helped cut down on the time. Even though five hours is still pretty good, you know, I could always do more because I'm greedy. But all right, uh, you guys have a good one. Uh, and uh, I think I will go offline now. Uh, let's see. Do I have any friends online? I do. So I'll send you guys on over to Tony. Have a good one.